Good morning. Violence on the rise. The Pentagon releases its report on the insurgency in Iraq as U.S. commanders send reinforcements into a troubled region. Lost and found. An eight-year-old boy lost in the Colorado wilderness without food and water for four days turns up alive. And farewell, friend. She's been a staple of America's mornings for more than 15 years, asking the tough questions. You have not leveled about your knowledge of Iran-Contra. Comforting the nation in difficult times. Help me, please, Katie. And dazzling us all with her unsurpassed grace, wit, and charm. (laughs) Look what I'm making, Leo and Marty do. Now, after more than 15,000 interviews, millions of laughs, and countless cups of coffee, Katie's saying goodbye today, Wednesday, May 31st, 2006. From NBC News, this is a special edition of Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. And good morning and welcome to today on a very special Wednesday morning. I'm Matt Lauer and for one final time, I'm going to turn to my right and say good morning to my friend and colleague, Katie Couric. Last day, how are you feeling? Oh gosh, I'm feeling uh, happy and sad and completely out of control and you know how much I like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, a control freak? Yeah. Let me just get this out of the way right now. Those aren't for you. Those are for me. All right. <laughs> Coming up, Katie, we're going to uh, we're going to it's going to feel like an episode of This Is Your Life minus Ralph <laughs> Edwards. Obviously, this morning we're going to look back at an amazing 15 years here on today, the highs and the lows and everything in between, and of course the hair. <laughs> we will talk about that. Only if I can talk about yours. That's okay. There's not much to talk about. And if Katie, I think you people at, at home know, if she has one true love, aside from her family, of course, it's music. We're going to celebrate this farewell with performances from Tony Bennett, Martina McBride, Trisha Yearwood, Adina Menzel, and the cast of the Broadway hit Jersey Boys. And we also have some surprises in store that you won't want to miss. So stay tuned. Batten down the hatches. You know me. It's hard to keep surprises from uh, me. Do you but already I know think, all these no, things? No, no. Well, you know, sometimes they email the the staff and they think I'm not on the list. (laughs) I can't believe they filled the position of CIA chief (laughs) without you. But I think there are plenty of surprises in store, and I'm really looking forward to all of it. As are we. It'll be a fun morning. Before we get started, though, let's swing over to the news desk and say good morning to Anne, who has the headlines of the morning, Anne. All right. Thanks a lot, Matt and Katie. It's going to be a great day. We're all excited for you. We begin, however, with a number of very serious developments in Iraq. A bombing this morning killed at least five police officers in Mosul. Attacks on Tuesday killed 54 people and wounded more than 100. The Pentagon predicts continued attacks by insurgents into next year, and 1,500 U.S. Army troops are being deployed from Kuwait to Anbar province, where many of the attacks have been taking place. Meantime, CBS correspondent Kimberly Dozier, wounded in a bombing that killed her cameraman and sound man on Monday, is still in critical but stable condition today in Germany. Her family arrived in Germany this morning. The death toll from Saturday's earthquake in Indonesia has jumped to more than 5,800 people. More aid is arriving today. Trice convicted sniper John Allen Muhammad was found guilty on Tuesday of killing six people in Maryland. He was already under a death sentence for a murder in Virginia. A patient being transported in a medical helicopter was killed when the helicopter crashed onto a golf course in Washington, D.C. on Tuesday. Three other people were hurt. Toyota is recalling almost a million vehicles worldwide, including about 170,000 Prius cars in the U.S., to replace faulty parts that could cause drivers to lose control. And an amazing story from Colorado this morning, where a young boy who vanished in the wilderness over the weekend was found alive on Tuesday. NBC's Jennifer London has this story. Evan Thompson is just eight years old, but he survived what many might not four days alone in the rugged Rocky Mountains west of Colorado Springs. He was found in Hole in the Rock Gulch, and he is completely fine, uninjured. The boy who has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder disappeared during a family camping trip on Saturday. We never gave up hope, and we kept going. Rescuers began following an unusual clue, Spider-Man footprints left behind from the sneakers Evan was wearing. It wasn't much, but it was enough. We are overjoyed, overwhelmed, to have Evan safe and back with us in our arms and our hearts. Tired, hungry, and happy to be alive. How you feeling? Good. Jennifer London, NBC News, Los Angeles. 
Terrific. He was found. It is now 7.05. Let's go back to Katie, Matt, and Al. It's a darling little boy. Yeah. Yeah. A happy ending. Thank goodness. Thanks, Ann. Dedicated work of those rescuers. Yeah. All right. Let's get our first check of the weather this morning from Mr. Roker. <laughs> it was very strange. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. And also, we went big change. We won't hear Fred Facey say your name anymore. I know. Yeah. Are you kidding? I think they already took down my <laughs> picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got plenty of them out there. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Well, let's take a look, show you what's going on, and show you that for today, We've got a lot of wet weather, unfortunately, continuing for our friends in Texas down in Houston. Flood warnings for parts of Texas on into the morning and early afternoon hours. Rainfall amounts, some areas picking up as much as two inches of rain before it's all over from Corpus Christi all the way into Houston. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. All right, thanks very much, Al. Today, not quite as warm as recent days, close to 80 in the city, cooler east, but still warmer west. An isolated shower thunderstorm possible in our western suburbs and a partly cloudy, muggy night tonight. Followed by more clouds tomorrow, an increasing threat for shower and thunderstorm activity from late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow night. And once that sets up, it's going to stick around a while, at least through Friday and part of Saturday. 79 today, warm 83 tomorrow, a cooler 73 Friday, back to the mid-70s Saturday. As it stands now, Sunday should see a return of some sunshine and pleasant with a high 77. And that's your latest weather, Matt. All right, Al. And to our top story this morning, which is Katie. It's uh. been an incredible <laughs> ride. As we've said, we've got a great celebration planned this morning. But we begin with a look back at some of the highlights of your 15 memorable years right here on Today. Hello. Good morning, Katie. It's Rive. Oh, Jack. Calling me back in 15 minutes. Make them way downtown. Hi, Jack. Walking fast. Face is past and I'm homebound. Okay. Get hooked to women all across America. I'll be back. Just another manic Monday. I'm really usually much more organized. I don't think I've come in a day where I haven't seen her in here no later than 645, <laughs> 650. I mean, it's, it's, it's... And yet, five of seven, she walks through that little gap in the studio back there, and the light goes on, and the theme music starts, and boom. Good morning. Shocking. She's had a wide range of experience before she ever even got to this gig. Kathleen Couric, CNN Election Watch, Dallas. The president of CNN instructed everyone there to never let me on the air again. I just refuse to let the turkeys get me down. Today, a typical Sunday in Dayton Broward County, Catherine Couric, News 4, Rockville. NBC's Catherine Couric is at Pentagon tonight. U.S. forces are desperately seeking Noriega. My first day on the job, I was five months pregnant, so I got up, threw up, and came to work. And when the Today Show theme started playing and I saw, you know, Brian Gumbel and Catherine Couric. I started kidding around almost immediately, and I think that broke the ice. And I still can't decide whether I'm Catherine or Katie. No. <laughs> One more time, Alex. Catherine Couric. Thank the you very much. There you go. Um, Some Democrats say that you have not leveled about your knowledge of Iran-Contra. Glad you asked that, I knew you would. I think one of the interviews that got me some attention early on in my career was when I was at the White House interviewing Barbara Bush for the 200th anniversary of the White House. I thought the president was out of town and that I wouldn't have to even worry about that. And suddenly, you know, I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. And, and then he walks in. Is this live? No, fortunately, we're on live television, well, so but, please but, but, but say whatever you'd like. No, but what I say is... And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm the leader of the free world here. And I haven't really thought of a question to ask him. Let me ask you if I could, Mr. President. About so I proceeded to do, I think, a 19 minute and 38 second interview, but who's county? What time do we break for the hour here? With Mrs. Bush waiting patiently on the sidelines. I had such serious adrenaline pumping during that interview and I was so nervous and so stoked and so like, Ooh. And, you know, my mind was, mm -hmm. I told you I was going to be here for 30 seconds. Well, I know, but aren't I great? I'm one of these less contentious reporters who can convince yeah, you to stick around and talk with me yeah, because I'm get, so easy. I, gotta, I know what one candidate said about you. Blame it on Katie Couric. And I'm, I don't want to get in a fight with you. No, that was, I was second. trying to prove my manhood. Some people are left with the impression that you're vindictive, that you're ruthless, a sore loser, and they don't feel comfortable with that. Katie. 
baby. You're wiggling out of this, Mr. Secretary General. It is not true that both of us are equally at fault. Some people think from your comments that you've made of late that you're being an apologist <laughs> for the tobacco industry. I think only somehow people, they only, have you only people like in their you, pocket. Only people like you in the media. Is this a big ego trip for you? You have this sense when you're watching Katie do a hard interview. Any question that needs to be asked will be asked. I feel my job is not only to ask questions, but to get answers. At some point, will you ever answer the question? I've covered that about a hundred times. Well, can you uh, do it again this morning for us? Well, so you don't want to answer the question? Well, you, I've answered the question, Ms. Kirk. Do you believe that women in this country should have the right to an abortion? I agree with my husband that we should try to reduce the number of abortions. Some people think Al Gore is going to eat you alive in a debate. <laughs> I'm biting my tongue. Sometimes they were surprised when it was wham, right between the eyes. Who told you that? Who told you? I'd like to repeat something you said in 1985, quote, I think the Jewish people have been a blight and they probably deserve to go into the ash bin of history. A lot of things are taken out of context and you know, I'm not opposed to That's the a direct people. quote, Mr. Duke. The headline reads, we are not safe. Then politics and resistance to change make swift action on 9-11 panels advice unlikely. How can these two headlines coexist when American lives are at stake? When I look at the list of people I've interviewed, kings, queens, and presidents, and prime ministers, and politicians, it's really quite amazing and astounding to me. We want to thank you, and we've got some fun footage to show as we head to a commercial break. You promised me you wouldn't show that. <laughs> This is going to come as a shock to a lot of people, but I, I like to sing. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. If anybody, even by mistake, mentions a song title, it's coming out. On the day that you were born, the angels got together. <laughs> She goes at it uh, with a gusto and a fierceness. My singing debut, actually, was with Darlene Love. That's where it is. That, to me, was one of the greatest moments of my life. How sad is that? We sang back up for Stevie Wonder, and it was so horrific. Not back up like there were other people singing also. It was Stevie Wonder on piano and three microphones and us. I'm hoping, out of its own self-respect, to take this destructive. God love her, because she goes for it. Who's got the last line now? In New Orleans, rescuers are still racing to pluck stranded survivors from rooftops. And a grim message from President Bush, quote, this recovery will take years. Good morning, I'm Katie Couric in New Orleans, wearing waders for the first time in my life to deal with all the floodwaters that are still quite high in several areas. I felt it was really important to go and see firsthand what had happened so I could better understand the story. Help me please, Katie, please. Glenn found his true shelter from the storm last night in the arms of his family. Papa, I love you. I love you too, man. We're joined today here in Vatican City by Katie Couric. Katie, good morning. Brian, good to see you. The thunderous applause that we're hearing from St. Peter's Square, which I find, gentlemen, so moving. Fierce fighting in Iraq. Six U.S. soldiers have been wounded. Daily attacks against U.S. forces Three there. more U.S. soldiers were wounded in separate blasts in Iraq today. Ace in the hole. After one of the most intensive manhunts in history, a haggard Saddam Hussein is captured alive. A plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. Second airplane, a 727 just ran into the building. Oh, my God. This morning, less than 24 hours later, the heart of commerce and the signature of the New York skyline is no more. The shell of the South Tower, Tower Number 2, that was hit by the second plane. The peripheral damage is amazing. What? I don't think people even appreciate the scope of this. 
United Flight 93 was the fourth plane to be hijacked on September 11th. It crashed in a Pennsylvania field. Alice, Liz, and Lisa visited the memorial that has sprung up a quarter of a mile from the crash site. I thought of you listening to him, and it just made my heart break for you. I'll always just remember, you know, that he was saying goodbye. Just a couple of months ago, I sat down with John F. Kennedy Jr. for what turned out to be his last television interview. Who would have ever thought? You know, people come up to me and say, your father is a great man, and that, you know, that happens to me several times a day, and that's, that's a really special thing. This can't be happening to our school. I know, and he came into the library and shot everybody around me. He should be safe at school. Yeah. It should be a safe place. The bodies of as many as 16 people are still here at Columbine High School, victims of the worst school shooting in American history. I'll never forget Michael Scholes, who had lost his son, Isaiah, and a young man named Craig Scott, who had lost his sister, sat down with me. All these, uh, all these people that I was praying for, 30 minutes later, their brothers and sisters were showing up. <laughs> but not your sister. It was one of the most profound and even spiritual experiences I've ever had. We are joining you from Westminster Abbey, the site of Princess Diana's funeral. Does it still shock you, the incredible impact she had on so many people? And you must think about her every day. I do, and it's a, it's a complicated thing because it's very, very difficult to realize that I'll, I'll never speak to her again. It's an extraordinary thought. The bomb shook Oklahoma City. 168 people were killed, more than 800 injured. It's an incredibly moving experience to be here and just walk around the area where the federal building used to stand. There's certainly images from that story that I will never be able to get out of my mind, like the fireman holding that baby. We, the jury, in the above entitled action find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder. And Many people you well know believe this so-called search for the killer or killers is a joke. If Rodney King is the most famous beating victim in America, then the second most famous is certainly Reginald Denny. And there's no police presence down here. They will not enter the area. Is your head... It looks like some of your head is missing. Right it is. There. If they vote for confirmation, they risk being portrayed as ignorant about the mental anguish and humiliation that results from sexual harassment. World attention has focused on the Allied push into Kuwait and Iraq to end Saddam Hussein's occupation of Kuwait. Why did it take so long to get our cargo, equipment, men here? We have brought more people over here in less than six weeks than we brought into Vietnam in eight months at the height of our buildup. This is the, it's the biggest thing that's happened to me in my life. And you're asking us when we're ready to go home, or I don't want to go home and miss this. There are days I watch what she does on the air and I think I couldn't do that. And I don't know that many people could. Thank producer Yal Federbush, editor Mark Evans, associate producer Nick Palladino, senior researcher Ernie Angstadt, and graphic designer William Hunt Cannon for putting that piece together. Wow. Isn't it amazing the history that all of us have had the privilege of witnessing here on the show? Just all those events, you know, it's amazing. Well, I think what's amazing is that you've held us, America's hands, through a lot of very difficult times, and that's why we are. Well, You're celebrating. I think everybody on this show does that. I know, but that, but you deserve <clears throat> your day today. And some of the weird things I did. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, well, we could do a whole three-hour show. Yeah, on that. I know, there's a lot going. And in fact, we're going to you know, and you'll be glad. Well, thank much you. more That's of our celebration. Not using that material. First, this is today on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> she used some of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs>
God only knows what I'd be without. God only knows what I'd be without. The all-new WNBC.com, where news breaks first, lightning strikes, the talk is real, and the game's afoot. Log on at home or the office, or go wireless. WNBC.com. Enter the new world. It's amazing what you can see in a person when they're outlined by a sunset. How the lines on her face form tiny pictures of your children. How her hair curls behind her neck just so. It's amazing how little it takes to flood our memory banks. Just some diminishing light. Get your free beaches of Fort Myers Sanibel Visitor's Guide. Is it possible, dear Kate, to fall in love with someone? This place. I only wish you were here to share it with me. From a different time. Look at the date on the letter. We are living two years apart. This year, come to a place. This house is about connection. Where the impossible lives. Can this be happening? It's amazing. Keanu Reeves. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, you're gonna think I'm crazy. Sandra Bullock. It's kind of a long distance relationship. The Lake House. Rated PG. Starts June 16th. I'm failing. No big deal. What about college? Face it, I'm not getting into college. Fighting doesn't work. We can't let him keep failing. Maybe he'll outgrow it. It's not just a phase. You saw his report card. Ignoring it doesn't work. Ma, I said I'd do better. Saying it and doing it are two different things. Punishment doesn't work. What does work is the Huntington Learning Center. By improving basic skills, we build motivation and confidence, and kids look forward to learning. Call 1-800-CAN-LEARN today. Your child can learn. Log on to WNBC.com for your chance to win two tickets to see The Wedding Singer, a new musical. Then, sign up for email news alerts delivered directly to your inbox or cell phone. The all-new WNBC.com. Enter the new world. Still ahead, we have a special gift for some of the extraordinary people I've met along the way. And a song from the one and only Tony Bennett, all part of our salute. But first, your local news. What if there was a device that could control your entire life? Cool. What would you do? Give me a break. I'm so tired of having this argument. I skipped the whole fight. Adam Sandler. Let's slow things down for a better look. Did you make a man Click. Playing some catch? Yeah, but your kid stinks. Ah. <laughs> Feeling better? I'm getting there. But I do feel good that we have Affleck. Mm. Glad I asked about it at work. I'm glad it's helping pay the bills. Like your bill, house payments, even Michelle's education. Helps with just about any bills our health insurance doesn't cover. Affleck, ask about it at work. Hey, Ted. See you next week. Yeah, see you, buddy. Bye, Ted. Did you pick up the mail for us? Yeah, OK. Have a great weekend, buddy. Looks like everyone's going away this summer. Thanks to the Hotels.com Great Summer Getaway. Our experts have found amazing deals in places like New York, Orlando, San Francisco, and more. So log on or call now. Hotels.com. We know hotels inside and out. Fast forward to flawless hair. Get a head start on curly or straight looks. Introducing Frizzy's shampoos and conditioners infused with styling ingredients that start your style right in the shower. Prep for glossy curls or smooth straight styles right from the start with Frizzy's shampoos and conditioners. And for the best way to eliminate frizz, use Frizzy's hair serum. From the professionals at John Frieda. Kids that move a lot are moving to NextCare Comfort Bandages. Compared to plastic and sheer bandages, it's the preferred number one bandage and user test. It protects with flexible comfort. Move to NextCare Comfort Bandages. Want fresh, soft, glowing skin? Like after a spa facial? Neutrogena Pure Glow. Beaded side with cleansers, purifies and exfoliates. Velvety side with conditioner, smooths and massages. Fresh, glowing skin every time you cleanse. New Pure Glow Neutrogena. You stay physically fit. You're at the top of your profession. 
and enjoy the finer things. Hey, sorry I'm late. I ordered for you. Oh, thanks. But there's still one thing missing. Your smile. To permanently replace or improve your teeth and your self-confidence, Nobel Smile, the tooth fairy for adults. To find your Nobel Smile dentist, call 1-877-MY-NOBEL or visit us online at nobelsmile.tv. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else... For everything else, there's World MasterCard, the card that won't hold you back. It's your plane. Do what you want to do now. Show your style, girl. Do whatever you choose. It's the Wicker Seating Sale. Save up to 40% now at Pier 1. Magazine has declared the first great movie of the summer is Cars. She's my fiance. What? I just kid. She just likes me for my body. It's two thumbs up. Oh yeah! For Disney Pixar's Cars, rated G, starts June 9th. Everyone's reading Nora Roberts for the thrills, the relationships, the passion. Everyone's reading best-selling author Nora Roberts. Well, almost everyone. I'm busy writing the next one. Read Blue Smoke now in paperback. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York. Crowded there on the Tappan Zee at this hour, 726 on a Wednesday morning. I'm Rob Morrison. And this morning, investigators are trying to determine the cause of a freight train derailment in Patterson. Joe Avalar, live at the scene with the latest. Joe? Oh, Rob, what a mess they have to look at. You can see over my shoulder. Let me step out of the way. You can see this is part of the eight cars that derailed last night. Let's show you what it looked like last night. About 9.15, eight cars from a 70-car freight train carrying industrial debris derailed. Two of them, or several of them, I should say, knocked into this auto repair and car wash, caused a gas leak. 75 families had to be evacuated. The gas leak was stopped. The families returned incredibly. You look at all that damage, and nobody was hurt. And as you heard, as Rob said, they're trying to figure out why it all happened today. And then clean it all out of here. That's what's happening here back to you. All right, Joe Avalar and Patterson, thanks. Now let's check the roads. Here's Trish. Thanks a lot, Robin. Despite that derailment, we can tell you New Jersey transit trains running normally this morning. Busy now, though, at the Hudson River crossings outside Panasonic Skycam live shot of the Lincoln Tunnel coming up. At least a 45-minute backup into the city this morning. 30 going in at the Holland and finally George Washington Bridge. A solid 40 to 45-minute delay, especially off of 8095. Of course, they had an accident inbound lower level that has just been cleared. Rob, back to you. All right, Trish, thanks so much. Chris's forecast in just a moment. Cirque du Soleil captivates with a timeless celebration. Be amazed by the graceful acrobatics and stunning acting. Corteo from Cirque du Soleil, now playing at Randall's Island Park. For tickets, visit SirpTheSoleil.com. So do we break 80 again today? Going to get close to it, I think, in the city. Inland spots definitely well into the 80s. East a little bit cooler, a pop-up shower storm. Better chance for late-day showers and storms Thursday, especially Friday. Cooler Friday at 73 in the weekend. Kind of half and half. Saturday, a few showers. Sunday, much better. All right, thanks, Chris. More local news, traffic, and weather in a half hour. Clive Barn says Jersey Boys is too good to be true. Sherry, Sherry baby, Sherry. The critics rave, and now Jersey Boys has been nominated for eight Tony Awards, including Best Musical of the Year. I love you, baby, and if it's Don't miss the most exciting musical Broadway has seen in years. Get your tickets today. I was very nice when I got drove cancer from a smoking cigarette. I almost died. Now there is a permanent hole in my throat. Nothing will ever be the same again. Not even the simple thing. 
Sunday, June 4th, join the Cuban Day Parade of New Jersey when it kicks off in Union City. NBC4 invites you to take part in honoring the community's cultural heritage and tradition. So remember the night. 7.30 now on a Wednesday morning. It's the 31st day of May 2006. And not an ordinary Wednesday. It's also Katie's last day here on today. And some people have come outside and wanted to hold some signs and wish her well. Some of these people started lining up 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just hoping no, this day no, would no. come. Just <laughs> hoping to get a seat. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. we've got a, we've got a sure. big crowd outside. <laughs> and we're going to get outside and say hi to some of those people in just a couple of minutes. Oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, inside me. Studio 1 AM, Matt Lauer, along with the uh, guest of honor this morning, Katie Kirk. This you know, is fun because you're doing all the work today. You know what I was thinking yesterday for some reason, you know, over the fifth, over the ten years we've sat next to each other, do you know how many notes we've written each other <laughs> yes, on scripts? that we'd get in a lot of trouble <laughs> if say, people saw. Can you imagine if I had said, you know, Katie, I've saved every one of them. <laughs> And, put them in a book. and I'm selling them. <laughs> it would be the last day either of us worked in this business, but it's one of the things I like to remember. Anyway, in just a moment, six people I know had a very big, big impact on Katie during her time here. They're pretty much ordinary people leading fairly normal lives until a big event changed them forever, and we're going to hear from them in just a couple of minutes, plus a special performance from Martina McBride and Trisha Yearwood and later Tony Bennett. Not a bad lineup. I know, and Martina. Exactly right. McBride as well, so. But first, let's head outside. Mr. Roker has a check of today's weather. Today's weather is brought to you by The Devil Wears Prada, starring Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway, June 30th, only in theaters. A beautiful morning out here, and uh, nice, nice, nice sentiments for Katie. Where are you guys from? New Jersey. In New York City. All right, you came a long way to get here. At 4.30 in the morning. All though. right, you got good seats. Okay, no more coffee with Katie. I like that. All right, well, we'll give you her address and you can show up. Anyway, let's check it out, show you what's going on. Another hot one, Syracuse today, 91. Cleveland, hello, Cleveland, 89. Nashville, 93. Norfolk, Virginia, 91 degrees. Rest of the country, you can see the heat is on in the southwest. 80s, 90s, 100s through the Gulf Coast. 70s and 80s in the Pacific Northwest. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. All right. Thanks, Alan. East wind will keep things a little bit cooler from the city on east today, but inland spots again likely to head into the 80s. Everybody in the mid and upper 60s at this hour, with the exception of Montauk at 56. Some cloud cover from these thunderstorms that died out to our west last night, giving way to some hazy sunshine today. We could pop a, an isolated thunderstorm here or there, mainly north and west of the city. High 79 in town, warmer west, cooler east. 83 muggy tomorrow with a shower thunderstorm late in the day and at night. More widespread showers and storms on Friday, lingering into Saturday, then some clearing by Sunday with a high of 77. And that's your latest weather, Matt. All right, Al, thank you very much. You know, Katie, during our time here together, we've had the privilege, I guess you have to say, to, ordinary, to interview a lot of ordinary people who've shown extraordinary courage. And there have been a handful who I know stood out in your mind, and we decided to revisit those people and give them a chance to tell you what you've meant to them. Trisha Miley. Another name that I'm known by is the Central Park Jogger. I spoke to Katie back in April of 2003. Do you think you'll ever really know what happened that night in Central Park? No, I mean, I'll never know. The piece that we did documented my recovery from the brutal attack, beating, and rape in New York City's Central Park back in 1989. Initially, I felt it was a big risk to go public. I really wondered how the media would portray me, and I didn't want my story to be sensationalized. Yes, I can come back here. When Katie and I went back to the place in the park where I'd first been attacked, I became more and more comfortable. And, you know, I actually showed Katie the scars on my head, and, and I actually had her, you know, touch my scalp so she could get a better sense of what had happened. And it's been a healing The process. effect of the piece I did with Katie was made so clear to me the very next morning. I was stepping out of a cab and a woman tapped me on the shoulder and told me that she had seen the piece. And then 
tears welled up in her eyes and she told me that she had a brother who had a head injury. And she said seeing me filled her with so much hope and that she was gonna go and tell him about me. I'd love to say directly to Katie, thank you for seeing me as a survivor and helping me to heal. My name is Orly Brown. I don't think I've done that much, but you would probably say that I've helped students in and out of college. Let me take a class of kids and, and follow them. And I say, give me the class that you don't think I'll make it out of elementary school. That's the class. So if they're all together working on the same goal, I felt that we had a really, really, really good chance to make it, and we did. That's what I'm here for. If you got a problem, I got a problem. The problem was trying to get these kids through high school. 1999, 19 of 23 students went on to college. And college is it's hard, but it's fun. Some they had the called me to come to New York. During the interview, Katie said to her audience, I want all of you guys to send Ms. Brown a dollar. And you know what we received? $33,600. Anyway, the nicest lady in the world. Uh, <laughs> Katie was so sincere. For more information about how you can contribute. Every four years, a group of my kids graduate and go on to college. And every four years, I pick up another first grade class. God bless me. He really did. And so I have an obligation, as long as I live, to try to make some boy and some girl's life a little bit easier than mine. And that's all I work for. I work to, to make sure that they can go to college. Aww. My baby. <laughs> My name is Jack Clausing. My name is Patsy Clausing. My son Mitchell uh, was diagnosed with brain cancer and we were uh, flying to New York to Sloan Kettering for treatment. Angel Flight folks had uh, uh, generously donated uh, their services to us to get Mitchell there on time. Whiskey Bravo 3023. And Katie was doing a story on Angel Flights and she met us at the airport. Nice to meet you. I'm here welcoming you to New York. Hey Mitchell, I'm Katie. How are you, sweetie? You've been sleeping, huh? Mitchell wasn't doing very well at the time. His brain had swollen. So uh, he, he wasn't very uh, cognizant of what was going on around him. Did, does he get a little sick from flying or uh, just the medicine? Just the medicine. The medicine, yeah. yeah. She was very nice to me. She was very uh, wonderful for Mitchell. She had a real concern and real uh, heartfelt feelings uh, for my son just in that short period, that short time that we met. Feel good to be on solid ground again? <laughs> I just couldn't believe that he was involved with such a caring angel flights, uh, Katie, the Today Show. I just, I was just so proud. He battled that for 13 months mm -hmm. and uh, he passed away in uh, uh, January 31st, uh, 2004. He's so much a part of our life. There isn't going to be a day that goes by that we don't talk about him. My name is Lauren Manning, and I am a 9-11 World Trade Center survivor. I was severely burned on that day. Six months after 9-11, my husband had published a book, Love, Greg, and Lauren, and it was at that time that Katie invited us on the show. Lauren, I know you said to your husband, Greg, I was on fire, I ran out, I prayed to die. Then I decided to live for Tyler and for you. It was a fleeting moment because uh, I did not want to die. I prayed to God. I screamed to God to let me live for Tyler and my husband. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to live. It works out not only your legs. In meeting her and talking to her, I felt that um, it helped heal me as well. It was uh, something from the inside out that in sharing my story really impacted me personally and uh, very positively just to share it with the world out there. 
and know that she was at my side doing it. But you've come so far. But through hard work, I mean, there's no way I'm not gonna have 100% functionality. I won't let it happen. So this thousands upon thousands of letters and gifts and notes and emails came as a result of being on the show. To this day, I am enormously thankful to what Katie was able to do, along with my husband's beautiful book, reaching out to the masses and getting them involved in, in my particular struggle. My name is Craig Scott, and I was a survivor of the Columbine High School shooting. Okay, this is a couple of dozen more students that are running out of the school. And this is I was underneath a table, and the two shooters came into the library immediately shooting off their guns. And they came over and they saw my friend Isaiah, who was one of the few black students at our school, and they shot and killed Isaiah. And I also lost uh, my sister, Rachel Joy Scott. Rachel was 17 years old when she was killed. The next day after the shooting, I, had a, I got a call from the Today Show. They told me that Isaiah's father was going to be on the show. That's why I went on to the Today Show, um, because I wanted to be able to hug Isaiah's dad. Just because I, I spent the last few minutes with his son. Because I made it out, and I got home, and I got to see my mom. I got to see my dad that night. And I say it didn't. There was a moment during during the interview where Michael Scholes reached out and grabbed my hand. He told me to, uh, I think it was one of those moments that gave people hope because here was two people that had lost uh, loved ones and didn't know each other, but that were bonding. I loved her a lot. How are your parents doing, Craig? And I thought Katie Kirk genuinely was in the moment with us and cared. I could feel her genuineness. I knew something wasn't right. I think being on the Today Show really was the start of me beginning to share what I went through. And that has helped me to heal so much. That's deep. Oh, to this day, it's one of the most moving things I've ever seen. Never forget it. Yeah. Really All those stories really are okay. Inspiring. And that's just a handful yeah. of, of what you've seen and, and the people you've touched over the years. And, and outside, I know we've got some of the people in that piece who are going to get a chance to talk to you personally and vice versa. Oh, look at them. They look great. Hi, everybody. <laughs> You're probably thinking, what are we doing here? Well, it's, it's nice because on this day that we're trying to give you some gifts, you're going to give them a gift. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. special tribute to them. And we'll have that right after this. You got a job at a fashion magazine? Oh, what was it, a phone interview? Ow! You have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends on what you're... You know, that wasn't a question. On June 30th, the best revenge... Will that fit me? Little Chris going some fishing line and we're in business. ...is success. I think we better get out of here before my girlfriend sees me. <laughs> the Devil Wears Prada. Rated PG-13. June 30th. Can you choose to be inspired? Or does inspiration choose you? Inspiration can't be summoned. It's all around us. Just waiting to be recognized. Inspired by Summer. Designed by Ethan Allen. Discover how our free design service will inspire you. Founded in 1925 as a community for the orphans of our fallen soldiers, the VFW National Home for Children continues to serve the needs of our military families. So in honor of Memorial Day, Buick, Pontiac, and GMC are donating $100 to the National Home for every car and truck we sell from now through May 31st. If you're at all serious about getting a new car, this would be a good time to do it. If they can move comfortably, you can too. Pain's 
Comfort Soft Bras and Panties. Comfort reinvented. 70,000 people in 50 countries. And yet every day, a two-person financial operation. You and us. UBS. I came to New York to be a journalist, and uh, basically it's this or auto universe. You have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends. No, no. That wasn't a question. Pick up my shoes. Get us some reservation. I need skirts. What kind of skirts? Please bore someone else with your questions. She is vicious. <laughs> Meryl Streep, Anne Hathaway, The Devil Wears Prada, rated PG-13, June 30th. Well, you're looking at the six people we just profiled uh, before the commercial break. Six people who have inspired me so much. Of course, we're talking about Trisha Miley, Oral Lee Brown, Jack and Patsy Clausine. Clausine. We just went over that. And of course, Lauren Manning and Craig Scott. You know, this has been so special for me to get a chance to salute you all because I can't tell you how moved I've been by each of your stories and by your courage and determination and strength and moxie and pluck and generosity and kindness and as a result I wanted to salute you and and leave you all with a gift it's one of my favorite songs it's from the musical Wicked and I really think it speaks to everyone about the things that you all have been through and the changes we all go through in life and Adina Menzel who's from the original cast of Wicked will sing it with Trisha Yearwood so it's a real treat. So, and they're really, I'm dedicating this song to all of you. So, ladies and gentlemen, Adina Menzel and Trisha Yearwood, you can come and listen. come into our lives for a reason bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return well I don't know if I believe that's true but I know I'm who I today because I knew you like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood who can say if I've been changed for the better because I I have been changed for good It well may be That we will never meet again In this lifetime So let me say before we part So much of me Is made of what I learned from you You Because I knew you, because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good.
Dr. and Adina. Thank you all so much. And thank you all. Thank you. Because I've been changed for the good because of you all. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after this. If I had to hug one more princess on my vacation, I was going to her. Sure, I liked fairy tales when I was five. In case you forgot, I'm not eight anymore. I'm eight and a half. Who goes to bed at seven? Take a better vacation at Universal Orlando Resort, where kids are free and now you get a free car rental. Visit UniversalOrlando.com for details. I try to do whatever I can to take care of my health. It's a very big part of who I am. So when I found out I had osteoporosis, I knew I had to meet it head on. Then my doctor told me about Boniva, how it helps build strong, healthy bones to prevent fractures with just one pill a month. And I thought, hey, I can do this. Unlike other treatments you have to take once a week, I only need Boniva once a month. You should not take Boniva if you have low blood calcium, severe kidney disease, or cannot sit or stand for at least 60 minutes. Follow dosing instructions carefully. Stop taking Boniva and tell your doctor if you experience difficult or painful swallowing, chest pain, or severe or continuing heartburn, as these may be signs of serious upper digestive problems. If you're as determined as I am to have strong, healthy bones, don't wait. Ask your doctor if Boniva is right for you. I'm so glad I did. Once monthly Boniva. There's only one. Ask your doctor for a free trial offer or call 1-800-4-BONIVA. Are you a scraper? Are you a digger? It's so hard to get the mayo out. New Hellman's Easy Out, the non-stick, no-waste bottle designed to get every last bit of mayo out. You can bring be undeniably you. LensCrafters Unconditional Happiness Guarantee gives you up to 30 days to decide. Wear them. Change them. Love them. Or your money back. LensCrafters. You'll see. We're better. He was a holy man. This man lived a good life. May he rest in peace. <laughs> who had a higher calling. The children's need a hero. He'll be fearless. <laughs> reckless. <laughs> shameless. Where's your rock? He was thinking, these are my recreation clothes. Jack Black. <laughs> Nacho Libre. Rated PG. Starts Friday, June 16th. Still to come this morning, more music, because you love music. We've got performances from Martina McBride and Tony Bennett. And also, on a serious note, real proof on the need to get screened for colon cancer. We'll talk to some very grateful survivors. Okay, I can't wait. Are you having fun? I am. Yeah. Okay. First, these messages. Turn off the Ambilight function on your Philips flat TV, and it's like going back in time. The only flat TV with Ambilight from Philips. You'll never go back to ordinary TV. Hi there. Bill, what are you doing here? Just thought I'd drop by with the terms of your refinancing. Well, actually, I'm refinancing at Lending Tree. You're choosing Lending Tree over me? Look, you're a good mortgage broker. But Lending Tree has better service. They even have loan specialists to help me through the whole process. But, Dad, I'm your son. I know you are, Billy. I know. Join the 18 million people getting a better loan at Lending Tree. When banks compete, you win. Cholesterol. It can come from fettuccine Alfredo, but also from your grandpa Alfredo, from barbecue ribs, and from your aunt Barbie. A healthy diet is important. When that's not enough, adding Vitorin can help. Cholesterol comes from two sources, food and family. Vitorin treats two sources. Only Vitorin helps block the absorption of cholesterol from food and reduces the cholesterol your body makes naturally based on family history. Vitorin was also proven in clinical studies to lower bad cholesterol more than Lipitor alone. Vitorin is not for everyone, including people with liver problems, women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Unexplained muscle pain or weakness could be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Vitorin may interact with other medicines or certain 
certain foods, increasing your risk of getting this serious side effect. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. So eat right, stay active. But if that's not enough, ask your doctor about adding Vitorin, two sources of cholesterol. Treat them both with Vitorin. Rubbermaid can make over your kitchen in 10 seconds. Because new Rubbermaid collapsible containers fold flat to save you space here and here. Try the new collapsible food containers from Rubbermaid. Get ready for one of the best American comedies in years. You got three lemons. What my baby wants, my baby gets. Baby wanted 12. It's hilarious, honest, and painfully funny. The only thing that I can think of is for her to move out of the condo and then to pay me some sort of a penalty. What, what, what? This movie's for anyone who is, has ever been, or thinks they will be in a relationship. What about your brother? Richard is not gay. Move yourself. Vince Vaughn, Jennifer Aniston. You always live your life. The Breakup, oh, rated PG-13 in theaters God. Friday. Why do people save their money for a rainy day? Why don't they use all the vacation days they're given? Don't people realize that you can't get back the time you have with your kids when they're young? If you want to know when the best time is to take a vacation with your children, look out the window right now. Because it's raining. Get your free beaches of Fort Myers Sanibel Visitor's Guide. This portion of the news is brought to you by Bermuda, world-class golf courses putting distance from the East Coast. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York. A bit slow, but pretty normal there. George Washington Bridge, 756. On a Wednesday morning, last day of May, I'm Rob Morrison, and today New York's highest court takes up the issue of same-sex marriage. The Court of Appeals will hear arguments on behalf of same-sex couples who were denied marriage licenses. They will argue denying gays and lesbians the right to marry violates the state constitution. A ruling is expected in a few weeks. Now let's check this morning's commute. Here's Trish. Hey, Rob. Slowdowns right now. New Brunswick, New Jersey. Route 1 jammed in towards Riders Lane. Couple of lanes closed with an accident involving multiple vehicles. Take you outside right now. Skycam Network show you Long Island Expressway crowded in through the fairgrounds this morning. Rob, back to you. All right, Trish. Thanks very much. Checking our weather. A mix of sunshine and clouds today. It'll be hazy and humid. High near 80 degrees. Tonight, partly cloudy and humid. A low of 67. And tomorrow, hazy and humid with showers and thunderstorms. And tomorrow on today, in New York, new vaccines for adults. Find out which ones you should consider getting. That's tomorrow morning, starting at 5 o'clock. We'll see you then. The scientific consensus is that we're causing global warming. An inconvenient truth grabs you like a thriller with an ending that will haunt your dreams. The Arctic is experiencing faster melting. You will be captivated, then riveted, then scared out of your wits. Because of what's happening, the maps of the world will have to be redrawn. One of the most important films ever. Our ability to live is what is at stake. An Inconvenient Truth. Rated PG. Now playing. Have an innate fear of being boxed in. That's why I left the corporate world. I wanted to create something. But dreams don't pay the overhead. Believers do. Being open-minded is what led Chris to start his business and why we gave him financing two years before his bank would open. How American Express serves small business. This is the time. Eight o'clock now on this Wednesday morning, 31st day of May 2006, Katie's last day here on today. Special message coming to you from the home of the Cubs, Wrigley Field. Oh, nice. cool. <clears throat> that really is. And with a record of 20 and 31, they may use you for the next couple of months <laughs> over there before you start on evening news, but that's a great honor and a nice tribute from yeah. the folks of Chicago. Thank you so much. And we have a lot of well-wishers out on Rockefeller Plaza this morning, all wanting to be a part of what is a very special morning for all of us here, in particular, Katie. T-shirt signs. <laughs> You're in the fist fight, pretty Party familiar. boys. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside Studio 1A, I'm Matt Lauer along with Katie Kirk and Al Roker with us as well. And, and we still have a lot planned this morning, but before things get a little crazy, and I think they will in a few <laughs> 
few minutes Oh, ago. yeah, it's going to be a big party. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to say a few words. Well, I, I just want to quickly say, you know, I've been racking my brains, uh, my, my small brains, <laughs> trying to figure out how to sum up 15 years in just a minute or two. But the word I keep coming back to is gratitude. It was once said that feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. You know, I never dreamed I would see a rainbow over Victoria Falls, walk silently among the crosses above the beaches of Normandy, see the blue mountains of Australia, or get a tour of 10 Downing Street from Tony Blair. And that's just a small sampling of what I'm grateful for. And the people I've worked with, the Today Show staff scurries around every day like elves on Christmas Eve, and there are no small contributions to this show. They're not simply co-workers to all of us. They're lifelong friends. And I love them not just for what they do, all of you guys, but for the people they are. Now, I know I'll never have a partner like you again because I'll never be working with a partner. <laughs> 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 I ruined it for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but truly, you have just been an extraordinary colleague, a wonderful friend. You are fast and funny. And beneath this well-dressed exterior <laughs> lies a huge and loving heart, and I'm gonna miss you so much. I know I'll never have this much fun and get paid for it ever again. And Al, you amaze me every day with your enthusiasm and your ability to connect with everyone outside and your light-filled joie de vivre, which I think is only matched by your extraordinary depth, mm, truly. Thank you. And Anne, I think your passion for what you do and your genuine concern for people and causes all of that has ins have inspired me oh. so much. Oh, you know, I started 15 years ago with a, a producer named Jeff Zucker. By the way, whatever <laughs> happened to that guy? <laughs> now, we have often talked, and G Jeff and I both say that this is, in fact, the best job in all of television, and what a privilege it's been for me to hold this post for almost a third of my life. And I couldn't have done that without all my friends, you all, and the viewing audience who have been with me through the years. I started this run with Jeff, and I end it in the able hands of our executive producer, Jim Bell, and his entire team. And I know this program will be one uh, I'm proud of long after I'm gone, and I'm starting to sound like a yugulizer, as they <laughs> say in Zoolander. But I leave this morning not with a heavy heart at all. I mean, sadness because of how much I'm going to miss you all, but with a very full heart filled with love and memories and, yes, gratitude. So thank you all so much. Well, well said. Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I wrote it at 11 o'clock last night. <laughs> I know Alan and Ann are going to get a chance to say something in a while, but, but let me take a moment, if you will. Um, you know, they call us co-anchors, and I hate it. I hate the term because we're partners, you know, and we have been partners over these last 10 years, 13 years in total, in every way possible, not that way. But <laughs> yeah. Wait a second. Hold on. That would be a little weird. Hey, but, um, <laughs> suffice it to say that we have on this job seen the best and the worst of the world. We sat this close to each other on 9-11. That's right now, was right there. And, and we cried together and we comforted each other and hopefully comforted the viewers a little bit at the same time. And we were shaking together. Boy, were we. We, um, we have lived through some personal tragedies together, uh, the death of Jay and Emily and my dad and relatives of Al and, and Ann and, and too many friends to even count, way too many. But we've also shared, you know, life's affirming moments, the, the birth of all of our children, I mean, and the joys that they have brought us. Um, but the thing I'll remember most, Katie, and what I cherish most of all, and I want the people at home to know, is boy, have we laughed. We have laughed on the air and off the air every day, day in and day out. Sometimes I'm home on the weekends and I just burst out laughing because of something you've said or you've done during the you show. Need to get a hobby. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but everything from giggles to mm. belly laughs. And, and so, aside from the fact that you are the perfect journalistic partner, and aside from the fact that at this stage we can complete each other's sentences, which is a little scary. I thank you for the laughs. Yeah. And, you know, people talk about chemistry with us. I never have been able to define it, but on your last day, I just want you to know that from my end, it comes from great love and respect. And I'm going to miss you. Speaking of chemistry, kiss me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks. 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 Okay. Hi. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> I do too. So, Anne, can you give us a moment? Give us the headlines.
<laughs> I can give you a moment. Thanks so much. It was really sweet to hear all that, I will have to say, though. In the news, I've got to turn now and make that hard turn and to tell you about the news. The Pentagon predicts a surge of violence in Iraq into next year. This morning, a bombing in Mosul killed at least five people. Attacks Tuesday killed at least 54 people and wounded more than 100. And the Pentagon has announced it is redeploying 1,500 Army troops from Kuwait to Iraq to help curb the insurgency. Indonesian officials say Saturday's earthquake has displaced nearly 650,000 people and left more than 200,000 homeless. The death toll has jumped to more than 5,800 people. President Bush will attend the public swearing-in ceremony today for CIA Director General Michael Hayden. He officially took the oath on Tuesday. A jury in Maryland has found John Allen Muhammad guilty of six more counts of murder in the 2002 sniper shootings in the Washington, D.C. area. A Virginia jury had already sentenced him to death. In Colorado, a missing boy has been found alive and well after four days in the wilderness. Rescue teams had been looking for eight-year-old Evan Thompson, who has attention deficit disorder, since he wandered off during a camping trip on Saturday. Doctors say he is in good condition today. And actress Elizabeth Taylor made a rare TV appearance last night to deny reports that she is gravely ill or is battling Alzheimer's disease. On CNN's Larry King Live, the 74-year-old Taylor acknowledged using a wheelchair for back problems, but described herself as happy and busy. It is now 8.04, and time for a check of today's weather with Al. Today's weather is brought to you by Royal Caribbean. Create your own adventure at royalcaribbean.com. And good morning, everybody. Beautiful morning out here, two beautiful boys. What do we have here? Nicholas, Nicholas and Joseph. Joseph, where are you guys from? Uh, New York. All right. Well, a lot of New Yorkers <laughs> coming today. We like it. Let's check your weather, shall we? Pick city for the day, as Uncle Willie likes to say. Raleigh, North Carolina. NBC 17. Isolated thunderstorms heading down there later tomorrow. See my daughter Courtney graduate. Anyway, I'm going to take a look. Show you stor severe storms through western New York on into the Ohio Valley, also in the uh, central plains on into the southwest. And we got the heat <laughs> continuing in the southwest as well. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Thank you, Al. Sharing the same neck of the woods, we've got some hazy sunshine mixed with some clouds out there this morning. That'll be the case today. There could be a pop-up shower or thunderstorm this afternoon, mainly west of the city. Temperatures east of town will be cooler than the past few days. West of town, still into the 80s, then a muggy night tonight. A better chance for showers and thunderstorms moving in tomorrow afternoon and evening, with temperatures once again back into the low 80s. After that, the shower thunderstorm threat increases for Friday. Could be a soggy day at 73. Saturday rain the first half of the day, 75, then some clearing late. And sunshine Sunday with a high of 77. Natural latest weather, Matt. All right, Al, thank you so much. And up next, some more highlights from Katie's 15 memorable years here on Sorry. <laughs> right after this. Give me the sweetest <laughs> goodbye. You got a job at a fashion magazine? Oh, what was it, a phone interview? Ow! And you have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends on what you're... You know. That wasn't a question. On June 30th, the best revenge. Will that fit me? Little Chris go in some fishing line and we're in business. His success. I think we better get out of here before my girlfriend sees me. <laughs> the devil wears Prada. Rated PG-13. June 30th. We've come to the Caribbean in search of something this family rarely sees. I've heard rumors it still exists, but I don't know. We've tried everything to coax it out into the open. Wait. There it is. She's actually smiling. And then it's gone in a flash. Don't just take your family on a vacation. Take them on an adventure. Find out how at RoyalCaribbean.com and get out there. Between now and the time you serve it, keep the food as fresh as it can be. Only Sub-Zero has dual refrigeration, preserving food's goodness longer. And that is why the people who know fresh food best give Sub-Zero such enthusiastic approval. Denny's new Supreme Bowl breakfasts. Bowls full of country fried potatoes, scrambled eggs, veggies, cheese, ham, or sausage. Just $5.99 each. Denny's. 
Finally, advanced sun protection you can't wait to apply. New Neutrogena Fresh Cooling Sunblock. Cools with the water light mist. Provides superior stabilized UVA, UVB defense with helioplex. Powerful protection, instant refreshment. New Fresh Cooling Sunblock, Neutrogena. Denture wearers. We stained a string of pearls in barbecue sauce. Not just to prove the stain-removing strength of Effort N Plus or the freshening power of its Listerine ingredients, but to give every denture wearer the confidence to show those pearly whites. The confident clean of Effort N Plus. I came to New York to be a journalist, and uh, basically it's this or auto universe. You have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends. No, no. That wasn't a question. Pick up my shoes. Give us some reservation. I need skirts. What kind of skirts? Please bore someone else with your questions. She is vicious. Meryl Streep, Anne Hathaway, The Devil Wears Prada, Rated PG-13, June 30th. We're back at uh, 11 minutes after 8 on Katie's final day with us. And Katie Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, you know how I like to quote Emerson. <laughs> we do it on a daily basis, in fact. <laughs> we aim above the mark to hit the mark. And from the very start, you have always aimed high. you watch the show regularly, you do know me as a person because you've seen me in so many situations. When I started, I was pregnant with Ellie. I want you to talk to her, say hi to her. When she told me earlier, she sleeps through us. No, well, they're only during your interviews. Yeah. <laughs> I carry four and a half years later. I hope this baby really appreciates this. <laughs> There's Ellie holding Carrie. Carrie, not looking too happy about that. Hey, congratulations. Four happy years. anniversary. Thank you. Same to you. See I'll you see later. See you later. Happy okay, bye. Okay. I went through the terrible ordeal of Jay's illness. Many of you know that I lost my husband, Jay Monahan, my loving and beloved husband, last month after a courageous battle with colon cancer. Words, of course, will never describe how devastating this loss has been for me and my daughters and all of Jay's family as well. I think the day I came back after Jay died was probably the most difficult day of my career. Certainly the most difficult day was earlier. You know, I later lost my sister, Emily, and I really did feel the collective embrace of people who were at home watching. As a result of Jay's illness, I became very interested in medicine and health issues. Hold it. It's a lot less uncomfortable than having to deal with oh. cancer. It is a camera, and I swallowed this pill about 10 minutes ago. All right, we're 45 minutes into your pill swallowing or camera swallowing thing. How you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you and the camera gonna hit the cat skills after this? Is that what the deal is? Lung cancer is America's number one cancer Heart killer. Is the leading killer of both men and women in the world are living with HIV and AIDS. Today. There is no cure. Every year, more than 145,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer. By far, my proudest professional accomplishment is and forever will be, I think, my work with colon cancer. Colon cancer is one of the deadliest cancers, but if detected early, it's one of the most curable. I remember so clearly saying, people need to get screened and they're not being screened. Can I get a colonoscopy on the Today Show? I have a pretty little colon. <laughs> there are people who've said to me, I'm alive because Katie Couric had a colonoscopy. That wasn't bad at all. No, no. She throws herself into it and, and drags you along. Can I hold his hand? What a pal. <laughs> she actually got me to have a colonoscopy right. on camera. I feel much closer to you now. You've seen the inner me. It's been documented. They call it, in a way, the Couric effect. 20% increase in colonoscopies. <laughs> we'll be right back with a live colon cam. <laughs> Katie? I have definitely been starstruck on this job. Could see me so, now. Rod. Yes, Kate. Nice digs. Let's have a good time. What a setup. Holy cow. They'd never be leaving my friends. God, see me now. 
Thank you. Oh, sorry. That ring. That ring. Sorry. It's Katie Couric. Beautiful Katie. It's Katie Couric. Hello. How are you? Katie Couric. Katie, 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 Katie. He's very good, everyone. It's getting brisk. Look what I'm making Leo and Marty do. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. You are completely out of control. I'm a kitchen, you're a kitchen, I'm a kitchen, you're a kitchen. You're in the moment. Many people might recall my film debut as a prison guard of questionable sexual orientation. Time's up! Are you sure you don't want to be an evil television personality on my network? <laughs> And now, here's Katie. I miss Matt. I love you, Katie. Katie is the perfect combination of Edward R. Murrow and Lucille Ball. You're fired. I've had many opportunities to show my athletic prowess here on the Today Show. I mean, you were better than that in your extension, Missy. That made me wonder how my swing was shaping up compared to Tiger's. Try by the flag, it's oh. still rolling. Oh my God! A girl can dream, can't she? I think most people know by now that I'm fearless and I'll try anything, almost. like playing a game of cat and mouse on these snowmobiles. And she says, by accident, she hit the gas instead of the brake. Whoa, 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 whoa. My entire life flashed in front of my face, and all I heard was this maniacal giggling. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What was that? To co-host our opening ceremony coverage is the Today Show's Katie Curran. Welcome back to Torino, to Greece, where you can feel the pride in the air here at the Winter Games in Salt Lake City. From Sydney, Australia. But first, from the Olympic Village in Atlanta. From Barcelona, Spain, the Summer Olympics. You know that Dr. Seuss book, Oh, the Places You'll Go? Well, I think I've been everywhere. Taxi, taxi. Bonjour, bonjour. Au revoir, Stone, au revoir. Welcome back to London, everybody. Sabah al or good morning, Matt. Good day, and welcome to Today here in Saudi Arabia. Many African governments. D-Day edition of the Today Show from Normandy. It's not can, it's not con, it's somewhere in between. Can. Good morning, welcome to Today on this beautiful Tuesday morning from Paris. Great Irish sweaters. <laughs> I'm Katie Couric back in <laughs> Nice knowing all of you. I've really enjoyed my time on the Today Show. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh my God. So for now, it's not goodbye, at least not yet, but a heartfelt thank you 
for 15 great years. It's hard to imagine being here and not having you sitting next to us. Thanks, Thanks Ann. You said it really well. Oh. I really do love the people I work with, and I feel it's been a real privilege being with them for 15 years. I guess the two best words are thank you. Two questions, what was your favorite trip? Gosh, favorite location. That's so hard. There's so many in that piece I know. right there. That's like asking me your favorite where in the world. Do you have one? Well, but does one stand out in your mind? I don't know. I mean, everyone was different and enriched me in different ways, you know? Second question. How far did the ball you hit in Fenway really go? <laughs> it went way, way <laughs> over. It was amazing. The green I didn't monster? know I was so powerful. Yeah. yeah. Who knew? It was a fun look back. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, you guys have made it so much fun. I'm glad they ended it with all of us together because it wouldn't mean the show would, experience wouldn't mean anything to me if it weren't for you all. So. No, we feel the yeah. same way, we really do. So, my and, folks are out there, by the yeah. way, and I'm gonna have to s at least point them out. They're very camera shy. They're oh, there, there they are, yeah. my mom and dad, and, they, and Ellie and Carrie are there too, and my sister Claire and her husband Jim, and yeah, Ellie and Carrie and Lori Beth, and I don't know, Ellie's been yawning throughout the morning. I'm gonna have to talk to her a little bit about you that. Got her up pretty early. Still ahead, we're gonna talk to some of the people alive today thanks to Katie's crusade against colon cancer. But first, these messages. What cooks like butter, spreads like butter, and has a fresh dairy taste like butter without the cholesterol and high saturated fat? Smart Balance Buttery Spread. Smart Balance just received another Best Taste Award and is endorsed by professional chefs. It's the only spread with a patented balance of fats to help increase HDL good cholesterol and avoids trans fat naturally, not artificially as some spreads do. Smart Balance, you're gonna love that buttery taste. You got a job at a fashion magazine? Oh, what was it, a phone interview? Ow! You have no style or sense of fashion. I think that depends on what you're... You know. That wasn't a question. On June 30th, the best revenge... Will that fit me? A little Crisco and some fishing line and we're in business. ...is success. I think we better get out of here before my girlfriend sees me. <laughs> the Devil Wears Prada. Rated PG-13. June 30th. Kids that move a lot are moving to Next Care Comfort Bandages. Compared to plastic and sheer bandages, it's the preferred number one bandage in user test. It protects with flexible comfort. Move to Next Care Comfort Bandages. Yeah, no, I gotta go. Yeah, I'm getting on. I totally spaced on that one. That was bad. Let's just use your Capital One No Hassle card. Protect yourself with Capital One's low rates and great rewards. I am so good. What's in your wallet? Hi, I'm Scott Blum, founder of Buy.com, the internet superstore. Come on in and see why over 8 million customers have shopped at Buy.com. It's our dedicated employees and our low price guarantee on over 2 million products. We've got the latest electronics, computers, digital cameras, DVDs, and CDs. Plus, 10% off Amazon on over 900,000 books. So next time you buy, check us out. Buy.com. At what point does a car do more than take you from point A to point B? When does it come to life? When does it become your co-conspirator? When does a car become more than just a car? Introducing the all-new 268-horsepower Toyota Camry. 
it's time to move forward. Still to come, we'll talk to Katie's number one fan, plus all those hairstyles and styles just in general over styles. the years. Styles, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but first, your local news. Experience the most talked about movie of the year. The Da Vinci Code, in theaters everywhere, rated PG-13. The most important thing in our training is customer service. Finding out what they need, what colors your carpet, who's in the room. We promise delivery within three to five days. If they're happy when they leave the store, that's the most important thing. 20 locations in the tri-state area. Call 800-BLIND-7. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York. Crowded belt out near JFK. We'll have your full traffic report in just a moment this Wednesday morning. 826, I'm Rob Morrison. But first, officials in Patterson will be cleaning up today from a freight train derailment. Joe Avalar has been live at the scene with the latest. Joe? Uh, Rob, the cleanup equipment is here, and pretty soon they're going to begin cutting up these derailed cars and taking them out of here. It's going to be a long, slow process, but let's show you what it looked like last night when it all happened about 9.15 last night. Eight cars of 70-car train carrying industrial waste derailed. Several of those cars crashed into a car, uh, an auto repair and a car wash, caused a gas line to break. Gas escaped. 75 families were evacuated. The gas has been uh, cut off. The families have been returned. Come on back to us live. I can tell you, nobody was hurt. But you look at this mess, and it is incredible to believe, but it's true. Nobody was hurt, and now they're cleaning it up. That's what's happening here. Back to you. All right, Joe Avalar and Patterson, thank you very much. And now here's Trish. Thanks, Rob. And we can tell you New Jersey Transit running normally this morning. Take you outside Panasonic SkyCam. You have a shot of the Bell Parkway. Problems here eastbound right at Erskine Street. Accident in the process of being cleared. So some slowdowns in both directions. Rob, back to you. All right, Trish, thanks so much. Checking our weather. Mix of sunshine and clouds today. Hazy, humid, near 80 degrees. Partly cloudy tonight and humid, 67 degrees. And coming up tomorrow, hazy and humid. Showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. And coming up tomorrow on Today in New York, a new trend in banking. Branches that look and feel more like coffee houses. Roseanne Coletti takes us inside tomorrow morning starting at 5 o'clock. Hospital for Special <laughs> Surgery would like to remind you to lift with your knees. If you suffer from bone, joint, or muscle pain, call the specialists in mobility. 1-800-676-0072. Ah, this, this show is about a lot of things, but it's about... Music and rhythm and soul and spirit. It was about joy. You know, it's about love. Redemption. Strength. Survival. Sexuality. Joy. Validation. Courage. Exhilaration. Sheer exhilaration. Healing. I walked out of there thinking, oh my God, I gotta call my mother. Um... It was a lot of fun, too. I love the show. <laughs> Hyundai is taking on Honda and Toyota with the Hyundai Challenge. We're out to prove that our new Sonata is the best value running. Here are the stats. More standard safety features and interior space than a Honda Accord. America's best warranty and $4,500 less than an Accord. You owe it to yourself to check out the fuel-efficient Hyundai Sonata before you spend too much on a Honda or Toyota. Take the Hyundai Challenge today. During the Hyundai Challenge, lease a new Sonata for just $189 a month. But hurry, offer ends May 31st. Time to stop and smell the roses. Painlessly. If you suffer from bone, joint, or muscle pain, call Hospital for Special Surgery, the specialists in mobility. Sunday, June 4th, join the Cuban Day Parade of New Jersey when it kicks off in Union City. NBC4 invites you to take part in honoring the community's cultural heritage and tradition. Tonight, catch Jay with movie megastar Tom Cruise, Michelle Rodriguez, and The Tonight Show phony photo booth. Then on Conan, Patricia Heaton, Alanis Morissette, and what if they made it tonight? This final day of May, 31st of May, 2006, and also the final day that we are 
lucky enough to have Katie with this program, and breaking up is hard to do, especially after 15 years, but we're going to make it a little easier this morning by having a lot of fun coming up. We're going to celebrate with some music from two of your favorite artists, Martina McBride and Tony Bennett. I both going to be here. I'm so excited that they're both here. How did you meet Martina? You know, I think I met her at a Red Book, like, women, uh, woman's luncheon, right. sort of honoring different women. And we just really hit it off. And she's been so generous with her time, and she's performed at my colon cancer right. benefits. And uh, I just think she's so talented and so beautiful. Actually, I kind of hate her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good, good sentiment to share she, on this last she, morning. No, she's wonderful. She's, like, she's so, so generous. So. I know you have a great relationship Tony, with Tony Bennett yeah. as well, I was going to say. I mean, so. he's still got it after all these years. He's almost 80 years old. Did you know that? I think he's going to celebrate that birthday not too long That's from now. right, in August. Yeah, that's right. So. so we'll wish him a happy birthday in advance. Meanwhile, I'm Matt Lauer along with Short Timer and Ann Curry. <laughs> And coming up, we're also, you can't say goodbye to Katie without looking back at some of her hairstyles oh, over the years. So we're going to be doing that and her style in general, some of the fashion she has sported on the show. The and, faux pas. Yeah, and Joan Rivers is going to stop by with a little report oh, card goody, on that. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Something to look forward <laughs> yeah. to. All right, but go ahead. And we also have a lot of people who want to say that how much they love you. So you're great fans. We have a little piece about them and also one of your favorite fans, but somebody who really, really loves you is going to be here to see hi. Really? Okay. His name is Al Roker, and he's got to check <laughs> in the window right now. That's Al? right, and I'm in front of the special friends pen here. Some of the folks from NBC have come to say goodbye. We got Jimmy Miklaszewski. We got Andy Fisher, one of our former writers. Of course, the frescoes are here. Bob Hager. We got Andrea Mitchell. We got Robert Mazzell back in over. I almost stepped on Andrea's foot there. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got, of course, the fabulous Lenny over here. We got, of course, Lenny B. Mike Leonard. He's still got the camera. Where are your parents? Uh, uh, Frescoes? The frescoes, yes. That would be the scottos, wouldn't they? They're the frescoes, as okay, far as I'm good. concerned. Just want to make sure. That's, that's my story. We got lots of folks here all saying hi, Judy Gordon. They got Dr. Mark Pochapin back there. It's just, it's a chock a block pen here of, of farewell friends. Anyway, let's take a look, show you what's going on as far as your weather's concerned. Real quickly, show the map. There you go. Okay, that's enough. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Bam! Man. All right. We've got some haze, some heat and humidity again building, especially west of the city today. Another uncomfortable day in that regard. East of town, it will be a little bit cooler. Current temperatures are in the upper 60s to uh, near 70 degrees in town. We're looking at a high temperature this afternoon of 79 in the city, close to 80. Cooler east, warmer west, just an isolated storm possible. Then tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Better chance in the evening, a warm day, 83. Widespread showers and storms Friday, 73 and Saturday. Early rain, followed by some sun, sunshine for Sunday. And I'm shocked. Lots of press. Look at all the, look, and you show them and they start taking pictures. Unbelievable. Let's throw them some meat. Okay, Katie. All right, Al, thank you so much. And as I mentioned, my family's here. And hey, mom, dad, wave to the camera. They hate to be on television and they hate when I talk about them. So this will be the last time, I promise. <laughs> anyway, and my, obviously my sister Clara and her husband Jim and Carrie and Ellie. They're thrilled to be here as well, as you can see. Anyway, and lots of great friends. And I appreciate everybody coming by. Thank you all. And we'll be back with much more of this uh, celebration of moi ad nauseum. But first, this is today on NBC. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling. On April 6, an LR3 navigated a plane from Nice to Corsica. And with seating for up to seven full-sized adults, dynamic stability control, and patented terrain response system, where it goes next is entirely up to you. Designed for the extraordinary, the LR3 by Land Rover. Nicely equipped at $4.99 a month. My homework, I forgot it. <laughs> Geometry, biology. Why do we have to know this stuff anyway? What your child says and what they mean may be two different things. If your child is struggling in school, Huntington Learning Center can help. Huntington can find out what's keeping your child from succeeding and correct it for good. Yeah, that's it. I'm lazy. Your child may be telling you more than you realize. Call 1-800-CAN-LEARN. Your child can learn.
those are healthy kids. Get the comprehensive health coverage your kids need and deserve. Child Health Plus, great coverage, little or no cost, without the runaround. Millions of your fans have never met you, but after 15 years together, they definitely consider you a friend. And our tribute to you would not be complete without a special salute from all these people who've awoken with you every morning. <sighs> oh, time for the Today Show. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. You are definitely the special K that goes with our coffee. Well, Katie, thank you for showing me that it is in fact possible for me to wake up every morning with a beautiful woman. Katie is your daily enthusiasm. That is my morning coffee. Hey, girl, it's Hey, hey, T-I-V will miss you at NBC. Famous Muscles Beach. Thank you, Katie. We will miss you. Love, Texas State University. Bye. Goodbye. Good luck. Santa Monica to New York. We'll miss you, Katie. We're going to miss bye, you. Bye, bye. Rescue anytime. Because I've loved you. Oh, Katie, oh, Katie, you're such a pretty lady. She's our fashion she's, guru. She's, she has taught us how to. Remember what we style. looked like 15 years ago? Oh, girl, oh, my gosh. We were a mess. I'd be happy to know that I've been arranged for an official pardon to Katie Couric for all the bizarre hairstyles you've worn over the years. Look at this photograph. If that other woman hasn't signed her contract yet to replace you, um, I just want to let you know I would be interested. Say bye to Katie. Bye, Katie. Oh, no, she's upset that you're leaving. What can I say? <laughs> Right on, sisters. Have a great career. Go, girl. Adios, Katie. Buena suerte. Hey! Come on, Katie. We'll give you a ride to work. Mom! Get up! You forgot to wake us up again. What's the point? Katie's not on. For 15 years, you brought us laughter. Great fun we knew. Now you are leaving us, and we're blue. Oh, Katie, all these years. I wish I could fly all the way to NY. Why? Just so me and Doc can hug you goodbye. Bye, Katie. Love you, Katie. You remember me? I'm Lily from the Today Show. Was that fun getting your hair cut? Did you like yeah. that? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. I'll miss you. So uh, getting, literally hundreds of people sent us tapes, not only wanting just to have a chance to say goodbye to you, but also to compete for the title of Katie's Biggest Fan. And after reviewing all of those tapes, we've come up with one we think is just perfect. You just saw her on that tape. This is little four-year-old Lily Satlov here, here, from sweetie. Avon, Connecticut. Lily, Aww, thank how are you? Thank you so much. Remember? Did you pick these flowers for me? You did, they're beautiful, thank you. Lily was here for the Locks of Love segment. Aw, that's right. And when she had her hair cut not long ago and Lily had her hair cut, what was that like for you? Was it fun? Did all your friends get to see you on TV? And, what and did Lily's say? watching herself on TV right now. Yeah, and Isn't Lily. it weird to see yourself in that box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Lily loves you so much, Katie, that we have a little special Katie doll. Oh my goodness. So even though she's going to miss you in the morning, she can What do you, you think? Night. What do you think? And she has reading glasses on, too. <laughs> Just like the older version of me. Here, Lily, let's, let's turn her around so everybody at home can see her there. Look, she's got okay. a little microphone. She's got a permanent on. wig. And, and, and dyed blonde hair. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> anyway, well, thank you so much for coming by. And look, what is this sash you're wearing? Katie's, Katie's. biggest fan sash. There you go. Well, mm. thank you. Yeah. I'm a big fan of yours, too. Thanks so much for coming by. And thanks for the beautiful flowers. Do you want to give Katie a little hug? Say yeah. bye. Do you want to give Katie a hug, the real Katie? This is Katie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. When we come back, a song from Martina McBride, who sings one for the girls and for Katie as well. But first, this is today on NBC. Thank you, sweetie. Here. 
We gave it a 4.6 liter V8 with enhanced horsepower and torque for greater towing capacity. The new seven passenger GL is more Mercedes to love. When you visit New Jersey, we go out of our way to make you feel right at home. Plan your New Jersey vacation. Get your free travel guide at visitnj.org. Jamie, sorry, I didn't hear the phone. I'm standing here admiring my new patio. Instead of boring concrete, we chose beautiful Cambridge paving stones with ArmorTech. Our Cambridge distributor had great ideas for our driveway, too. He told us that in a year or so, all pavers without ArmorTech look worn and faded. Our choice was a no-brainer. Only Cambridge has ArmorTech. Call 1-800-400-1233 or visit us online. Cambridge paving stones with ArmorTech. It'll always look like new. I was very nice when I got drove cancer from a smoking cigarette. I almost died. Now there is a permanent hole in my throat. Nothing will ever be the same again. Not even the same thing. We gave it over 80 cubic feet of cargo space, so you have room for anything. And everything. Hans? The new seven-passenger GL. It's more Mercedes to love. In case you haven't heard this fall, Katie's gonna make some television history when she becomes the first solo female anchor of an evening newscast. So in honor of that accomplishment, we decided to bring in one of her all-time favorite performers, Martina McBride, to sing a song that I think kind of says it all. So without further ado, here's Martina with This One's For The Girls. Well, Katie, I just wanted to say that you are such an inspiration. Your compassion, your sense of humor, your intelligence, your beauty. You're an inspiring to all of us, and to me included. And uh, I know that you like things like me that... Um, like me, you like things that empower girls and women. So it was no surprise you asked me to sing this song. So this is for all the girls out there, and this is for you, Katie. Hey. This is for all you girls about 13. High school can be so rough, can be so mean. Where's the fun? 
and tribute continues with Tony Bennett on the other end of the plaza. But first, on a Wednesday morning, this is Today on NBC. Dateline Wednesday at an early time, 8, 7 central, to catch a predator. They're using the internet to target your kids. And Dateline is targeting them. See for yourself the show everybody is talking about. Sounds like you've got a pretty big night planned, huh? To catch a predator at an early time, NBC Tonight, 8, 7 central. Then, at a special time, 9, 8 central, there's models, money, and that one question. Deal or no deal? Tonight, 9, 8 central on NBC. A moment like this Some people wait a lifetime For a moment like this Some people serve forever For that one special kiss Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me Some people wait a lifetime For a moment like this Book the vacation of your dreams Call your travel agent or 1-800-SANDALS Hey, we're on a road trip to find out if everyone's getting what they want from Verizon. How is it switching from the dial-up to the DSL? Oh, it's simple. It's easy. What do you do for fun out here? You're looking at it. Do you have DSL from Verizon? Yeah, I do. Who installed it? I did. What do you like about Verizon? We love how fast it is. It's definitely the fastest thing that I've ever seen. Switching to Verizon Online DSL is not only easy, it's as low as $17.99 a month. That was cool. Kind of nice out here. Phone, broadband, TV, Verizon. Welcome. The musical celebration continues. Tony Bennett may have left his heart in San Francisco, but Katie has always carried a bit of a torch for you. The two of you are good friends. You shared a stage together. You even wrote a, a poem for his 75th birthday in an honor of your last day here this morning. He's going to perform a little medley for you, beginning with a song that was actually your first dance with Jay at your wedding. Oh, you're killing me. I know. So here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is Tony Bennett singing The Way You Look Tonight. Thank you. Tony? Thank you. Thanks, Tony. That's sweet. Someday, when I'm awfully low, when the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of you And the way you look tonight Oh, but you're lovely With your smile so warm and your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me But to love you Just the way you look tonight
with each word your tenderness grows tearing my fear apart and that laugh that wrinkles your nose touches my foolish heart lovely never never change keep that breathless charm won't you please arrange it cause I love you just the way Just the way you look to night. I love you. Out of the tree of life, I just picked me a plum. You came along and everything started to hum. Still, it's a real good bet. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't that be fine? You think you've seen the sun, but you ain't seen it shine. Wait till the warm up's underway. Wait till our lips have met. Wait till you see that sunshine day. You ain't seen nothing yet. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't that be fine? The best is yet to come, come the day you're mine. Come the day you're mine. I'm gonna teach you to fly. We've only tasted the wine. We're gonna drain the cup dry. Wait till your charms are ripe for these arms to surround. You think you've flown before, but you ain't left the ground. Wait till you're locked in my embrace. Wait till I draw you near. Wait till you see that sunshine place. Ain't nothing like it here. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't it be fine? The best is yet to come, come the day you're mine. Out of the tree of life, I just picked me a plum. Thank you. Tony Bennett. And Tony's got a new duet CD out this fall. We look forward to that, and we look forward to much more celebration in the next hour here on Today as we bid farewell to Katie. Outside on the plaza every day, kicking things off, American Idol's Taylor Hicks and Catherine McPhee, together live in concert. Then Friday, country superstar Brad Paisley. Great music, good times, summer on the plaza, only on Today on NBC. Dateline Wednesday, to catch a predator, we're targeting the creeps who target your kids. It's the show everybody's talking about. NBC Tonight at an early time, 8, 7 central. Where else can you be so fun and happy? Can you be so smart and sexy? Can you do so much to be yourself? Cole and smash and I pick Right now, buy one pair of eyeglasses and get a second pair free at Cohen's Fashion Optical. Cohen's Fashion Optical. Cohen's. Where else? You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York.
That's a live look at the Hamilton Bridge at 856, a warm 67 degrees outside on this Wednesday, May 31st. I'm Carolyn Gussoff. Police are releasing surveillance photos, hoping they'll lead to the killers of a New Jersey man beaten and robbed in Manhattan. The photos were taken in Washington Heights and Corona. That's where police say the men used the credit cards of Thomas Whitney. He was killed a week ago after leaving a Chelsea nightclub. Investigators won't call the murder suspects, just people of interest. Anyone with information is asked to come forward. A September 11th memorial in New Jersey is being criticized as too intrusive. Work has already begun in Liberty State Park on the project called Empty Sky. It'll have two 30-foot steel panels inscribed with the names of those lost from the Garden State. But friends of the park say its base is already blocking inspiring views of lower Manhattan and they want it changed. Officials are promising to mediate. And now let's check in on the commute with Trish. Thanks a lot, Carolyn. Busy New Jersey this morning, New Brunswick Route 1 at Riders Lane with an accident being cleared. Some significant slowdowns through that area. Outside now, Panasonic Skycam can show you busy morning on the Bell Parkway. Westbound delays right off of the Sunrise Highway and through Springfield Boulevard. Finally, westbound Cross Bronx delays at White Plains Road with a serious accident there. Carolyn, back to you. All right, Trish, thanks so much. And now a quick look at your forecast for today. A nice day, a mix of sunshine and clouds, hazy, hot and humid, high 79 degrees. Tomorrow on Today in New York, new vaccines for adults. Find out which ones you should get. That's starting tomorrow at 5 a.m. Pierce Brosnan, once a fire eater. How do you jump to fire eating? There was lovely girls in there. They, they were topless, actually. So I thought I'd go in and... I see. Plus, supermodel Heidi Klum. Next, Ellen. Today at 10, only on NBC4. us laugh, they make us cry, but best of all, they can make us smile. Saturday mornings at 10, catch Real Talk's Movies That Make You Smile, presented by Vital Den. Then, vote for your favorite film and share your favorite smile online at WNBC.com. Oh, the power of a smile. Call now to start your weekend with New York Times Home Delivery. The New York Times is the greatest paper in the world, without a doubt. It's the quality of the writing. It's aerobics for the brain. Just incredibly interesting. So many things you can get out of it. It's the newspaper of New York. Call 1-800-708-7755 for home delivery, starting at 250 per weekend. I don't just trust anybody to bring me the news. It looks at things from all angles. Whenever I'm in doubt, I look in the New York Times. Call now for 12 weeks, starting at 250 per weekend. That's 50% off. No other newspaper can cover what the New York Times covers. More in-depth stories. A better array of international news. There's articles where I live. It's a rich cultural celebration. What the latest trend is. It's almost like a guide to New York. Call now for home delivery and have the Times waiting for you. It starts my day. It's my window to the world. We don't really feel that we're ready for a Monday and we read it on Sunday. There's nothing quite like the Times. Call 1-800-708-7755 for home delivery, starting at $2.50 per weekend. There's the Times and there's everything else. For nearly 400 years, it has carried explorers, sparked the imagination of artists, and given rise to environmental controversy. Discover what you never knew. Explore the mighty Hudson with Linda Vaccaro, Saturday at 7 on News Channel 4. Starting over weekdays at noon, only on NBC4. You had the time of your life. We're back with the final hour of today on this Wednesday morning, the 31st of May, 2006. And Manny, two of your biggest fans, they better be here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, we hope Katie's had the time of her life during her 15 years here on today. An inside studio with Anne Hour along with Katie and Al and Anne and Natalie. And Natalie. Hello. I feel like I've missed out on the party. Morning. We're happy you're here now. And a lot of waterworks upstairs, by the way, oh. in the makeup room. We're gonna, well, that's a good place here. to have yeah, exactly. 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 And get touched up. Coming up, we're going to continue to take a trip down memory lane with Katie's hair oh, and please. fashions through the years, <laughs> some of which you may not want to remember. You couldn't leave without that, Katie. And a little later on, the cast of Jersey Boys will be here with a special Special performance just for you. But before we get to that, I know I had a chance to say something to you earlier, and I know Al, Ann, and Natalie would like to say something as well. So, Al? Well, uh, I first worked with you in, on Sunday Today down in Washington, D.C., and I knew there was something special then, and I know it more so today. 
Uh, you have the rare gift of making us all better at what we do. Uh, and what people don't realize is your generosity, not only on screen, but off screen. And I will miss that smile, and I'll miss the face, and I'll miss the spirit that you bring to this. Uh, and it's not like you're leaving, and I know where I can find you, <laughs> so you can't run away. But, I hope uh, our friendship transcends absolutely, geography. Absolutely. I will miss you, and I miss I what you bring so. to this Thank every day. You. I love Al. Oh, no, who doesn't love Al? And we, and who doesn't love Al? It's true. And we all love you, Katie. You know, you've affected our lives, not just professionally, but personally. I am a different person because I know you, because you've made me better. You've made me uh, love you. And don't be a stranger, because if you do, I'll come calling. Ooh. I just, no, I mean really <laughs> like it. Yeah. You're be, starting to I'm freak me out. Right I'm going to stop are, you. There are when laws in most states dogs. against that. <laughs> no, because I know you're going to be so distracted and there'll be so much going on and all that stuff. Oh, but I'm going to come and visit know you guys on a regular really... basis. She'll be like, I thought she left. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Oh, thanks, I'm, I'm just going to. I mean, Sorry, so no. much. Okay. Be mad. No, no, really, really. Do it a some more. Girl sandwich. So <laughs> I don't think he minds that. Thanks, Sam. And, and Katie, you know, as the newest member of the show, you've always made me feel like a member of the family from day one, whenever I filled in for Anne, or even when I've had the opportunity to fill in for you. Uh, I've always felt like, wow, to be able to sit up here and, and to, and to, you know, look up to you. And you always, the, the greatest thing about you, you always have this amazing ability to put into words exactly um, how you're feeling and, and just capture that moment. And I wish I could say that better right now. No, I but, think you're doing great. But, but Katie, really, um, I think you are giving so many young girls even more reason to say, someday I want to grow up and be just like Katie Couric. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thanks so much, Natalie. <clears throat> Thank nice. you. Do you want to reach doing? in front of me and kiss her? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. How you doing? I'm going It's been fine. a big day. It's a little overwhelming, honestly, oh. and uh, it's a you know a lot of Katie. Three hours <laughs> worth. So I'm starting to feel embarrassed, like people have long turned the channel. But uh, <laughs> I don't I, think so. I, I'm really grateful and and for this really wonderful send off. So thank you all, and really all the people behind the scenes and who I said earlier, like elves on Christmas Eve every day. They. Did such a, they've done such a nice job with this whole show, and, and I'm so grateful. And they know who they are, <laughs> as Brian would say. There they are. They're waving at you, Katie. Yeah, <laughs> hi, you guys. How are you? Actually, like, that's is, the control room Is it CBS. 10 o'clock already? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think Jim just said, Jim Bell just said he didn't like being called an help, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. The world's largest elf. <laughs> yeah. OK, Get you're Santa help. Claus, then. <laughs> Earn your oh. keep. Do a little weather for us. Right, yeah. Let's check it out. I hate to do this. Let's see what's going on. We'll show you for today. We are looking at some heavy thunderstorms, unfortunately, down in Texas more heavy rain where they do not need it. Also, strong storms later today working their way through the mid-plains. Also into the northeast in the upper Ohio River Valley. Wet weather in the Pacific Northwest. Sunny and warm along the east coast. Uh, heat continues in the southwest. 102 in Phoenix today. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Thanks very much, Al. Another warm start to the day. High humidity again. Kind of uncomfortable. Take it slow today. 68 degrees in the city. 68 already in Morristown. Low to mid 60s through the Hudson Valley. Cooler out east. And it's that easterly flow of air that will probably keep much of Long Island closer to the low 70s today. The city closer to 80, but inland spots well into the 80s. Just an isolated shower thunderstorm possible. Tomorrow, 83. Showers and storms reoccur later in the afternoon and at night. Widespread showers and storms on Friday. Leftover rain Saturday, giving way to sunshine Sunday, 77. And that's your latest weather. All right. Now, coming up next, we're going to hear from some people who are literally alive today thanks to Katie's fight against colon cancer. That's right after these messages. What if you found the one you were meant for? She was more real to me than anything I've ever known. But you both lived. We are living two years apart. In a different time. Can this be happening? Keanu Reeves. Pick a place. I'll be there. I promise. How? Sandra Bullock. Even though this is clearly impossible, it's amazing. One man I can never meet. I would like to give my whole heart to. The Lake House. Rated PG. Starts June 16th. One day on vacation, Brian just said, this is where we belong. We opened the sandbar three months later. After Brian died, I thought about moving back, but this is our place. Insurance from Mutual of Omaha. Begin today. Hey, try one of these new 100-calorie packs. It's chips. 
Yeah, but I bet you get what? Three chips in this pack? No, you get this many. Hey! hey. Wow. All this for 100 calories? These are good. New Ritz chips, 100 calorie packs from Nabisco. Where would you go for a delicious panini hot off the grill? How about your microwave? Try a Corner Bistro Panini from Stouffer's. Cooked on our revolutionary grilling tray, they're the only panini that actually grill to perfection in your microwave. For a crispy, restaurant-inspired panini at home, try our full menu of Corner Bistro Panini and see what's cooking at Stouffer's. If you were to put your face together all over again, what one thing would you change that would change everything? If your answer is, I change my smile, then you have only one choice, an LBI smile. LBI dentists learn the most advanced cosmetic techniques using real patients far beyond what is taught in dental schools. There's nothing like a beautiful smile and no one like an LBI dentist to create one for you. You can have your dream smile after all. Some sinus medicines treat congestion, but not pain. New Tylenol Sinus is different. It combines the pure pain relief of Tylenol with powerful sinus medicine. Stop. Think. Tylenol Sinus. Enter the deep end of moisture. Only new Olay Ribbons Body Wash adds a ribbon of actual moisture to wrap your skin in two times the moisturizers. New Olay Ribbons Body Wash from Olay. the taste of the original ranch, things seem a little more like the way they're supposed to be. Hidden Valley Ranch, the way ranch is supposed to taste. And new Italian ranch, ranch with an Italian accent. I'm Kathy Griffin, and I want off the celebrity D-list. Here's the plan. You'll vote. I'll do whatever wins. Log on now and vote at offthedlist.com. By far one of my proudest, if not my very proudest professional accomplishment during, accomplishments during my 15 year tenure at the Today Show has been my work to raise awareness and research dollars in the fight against colon cancer. Of course, that's the disease that claimed my husband's life, Jay, when he was just 42 years old back in 1998. And we've got some proof positive here this morning that some people have been listening. We've got some folks who have uh, sort of heeded the call and paid attention and gotten screened for colon cancer. Hi, everyone. Hello, Hi. Katie. Good morning. Hello, Katie. It's so good to see you all. And here in the chairs, we have Kathleen Sullivan, Debbie Sparks, and Dave McGowan, and all their friends and my <laughs> friends, too, spreading the word, right? And I like your t shirt. Show me Thank what. Thank you. We have. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. Life. Thank you so much. Well, tell me a little bit about your story, Kathleen. Yes, well, Katie, um, I certainly would have had no idea that I had cancer. I was uh, uh, only um, 48 years old when I was diagnosed, so my awareness came from your program and the things that you have said on television, and I'm just so grateful. I just wanted to tell you that after I was cured, that my husband and I and a few close friends started a nonprofit to help orphans with HIV. So I want to say that your deed has helped me and others to really pay forward into the world other good deeds. So it's just not a cure of cancer, but it's helping people that that. That have still have really so much to give to the world. Very much so. Like you obviously are doing oh, now. Thank you. So you were screened and, and did you go through chemotherapy? Yes, I had uh, chemotherapy and radiation um, uh, before my surgery and then I had a very successful surgery and I did have um, a temporary bag to help my um, uh, colon heal. And uh, during that time after my surgery, I had more co uh, chemotherapy, and then um, I was very lucky to be able to have my um, temporary colonoscopy. Uh, colostomy re reversed, 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 which is great. I was I'm very, so very glad lucky. you're doing so well. Thank you so much for everything you've oh, done you're for welcome. awareness. You're welcome. And Debbie, tell us your story. Um, I was about a year into my diagnosis and was just kind of going along with whatever my doctors were telling me to do. And after I watched your live colonoscopy, you flashed the website for Colon Cancer Alliance, and I became a member and started, um, 
you know, joining in their weekly chats. And it was through those people that gave me the courage to, you know, question my doctors, know that there was, um, all, you know, other treatments around the country. And um, I really attribute that to saving my life because otherwise I would have just sat back and, and done whatever they've asked. I've been through six surgeries and getting ready to start treatment again. Um, but it's been seven years, so I have hope that there's going to be another seven or more. I hope so. Good for yeah. you. Good luck with everything. Thanks. And meanwhile, Dave, what, Dave McGowan, what's your story? Well, I've been a big fan of yours since the old days in Washington where I grew up. And um, I'm this invincible, healthy guy that never thought I could get sick. Um, your programs made me aware of the symptoms of colon cancer. Uh, I actually was one of the rare ones that had some symptoms. Went to my doctor, told him I had colon cancer. And sure enough, I did. I had the surgery and chemo, and um, I am a survivor today only because you made me aware. Otherwise, I would have ignored my symptoms totally, and I wouldn't be here today. Well, that's so gratifying to hear from all three of you, and the fact that all of you showed up this morning means so much to me. We because thank you. Thank you. Well, to thank you personally. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming by this morning. and. You know, it's a good reminder that it's the second leading cancer killer in this country. 140,000 people diagnosed every year. And it doesn't have to be a death sentence if you get it before it spreads or metastasizes. And uh, you can do that with screening. That's right. That's a 90, better than 90% cure rate if it's detected early. Of course, I'm preaching <laughs> to the choir here. But again, thank you all so much for coming. And I'm so glad you're all doing well and you'll always be in my thoughts and prayers thank for you. continued good health and us in your thank, thank you thank you Katie, thank you, Katie. and we'll be back thank with more you. today right after this thank, thank you. you so much thank, thank you. you thank you thank Katie you. part of you wants to learn more about menopausal symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats Part of you has no time for research. That's why there's no menopause.com, the website with information to help you. Because part of you wants to understand the bone loss that happens during menopause, while the other part just wants to know what to do. Check out nomenopause.com today. Your whole self will know a whole lot more. Nomenopause.com. For those who love cashews, there's new Platters Cashew Lovers Mix. 50% cashews, 100% love. Now there's a sunblock that keeps working, so we can keep playing. Introducing sun protection that outlasts ordinary sunblocks. New Aveeno Continuous Protection. Many sunblocks break down over time. Only Aveeno has active photo barrier complex and is scientifically shown to maintain protection longer. Plus, soy and vitamins help shield skin from environmental damage. We could be here a while. New Continuous Protection Sunblock. Only from dermatologist recommended Aveeno, the leader in active naturals. Garden Claw Gold adjusts to fit gardeners of all sizes. Cultivate, loosen, aerate, and weed around plants, shrubs, and vegetables. Garden Claw Gold makes a great gift. Available at Ace, True Value, Do It Best Hardware, Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, and Kmart. There's nothing more real than dogs. And we think they deserve food that's as real as they are. Introducing new pedigree with chicken rice and vegetables. With real chicken and all the wholesome ingredients dogs deserve. Founded in 1925 as a community for the orphans of our fallen soldiers, the VFW National Home for Children continues to serve the needs of our military families. So in honor of Memorial Day, Buick, Pontiac, and GMC are donating $100 to the National Home for every car and truck we sell from now through May 31st. If you're at all serious about getting a new car, this would be a good time to do it. The Wicker Seating Sale. Save up to 40% now at Pier 1. Hey, my name is Taco, and this is my story. I build custom motorcycles. I've been building motorcycles for about probably 20-something years. I'm working every day, leaning over, doing something. When I wake up in the morning, I'd feel joint pain, and I'd feel my hands cramping up. I just had to do something about it. 
I take a leave and basically I, I make it through the day. Usually I'll wake up like a Chrome Magna man. And then as the poster goes on, I'm the Neanderthal man and I take a leave. Taco man, I leave, it makes a huge difference. I'm gonna keep building bikes until I'm a household name. Hair color that wrecks your hair or protects your hair. Bingo. New Natural Instincts with weekly color treatment actively helps protect your hair 30% more than the leading hair color. More protection, more shine. Now isn't that more you? Natural Instincts, new from Clairol. Bring more to the table in only 90 seconds with Uncle Ben's Ready Rice. You know, 15 years, you're going to have some hits and some misses, fashion-wise. But in Katie's case, we think they're more hits than misses, perhaps. <laughs> but we sure decided to go back to the archives and take a look back at all of it. You walked in, I woke up, baby. For 15 years, Americans have been waking up with Katie Couric. Every day you've got to be in a different outfit and people are judging you. One more time. That's more than 3,500 different looks. There's not one woman or man that doesn't get up and say, oh, what's Katie wearing? Oh, I like that on her. Oh, I don't like that on her. And I have a brand new hairdo. Then there's the hair. It's very difficult to have every hair day be a good hair day. They're documented and they're just set in stone so they can always come back to haunt you. Look at this. Oh With Joan God, Rivers crazy. in New York and Jonathan Anton in Hollywood, we dug through the archives of Katie's fashion history. Here she looks good. Here she looks like an executive. Soft, pretty, behind the ear, runner. Look at the shine. Not all of it was easy. Now, this is very stewardessy. Uh, I don't know about that hair. After a while, some patterns form. Whoever put her in those tablecloth jackets should really be shocked. You're just waiting for the ants to come over her shoulders. And a few unusual trends. Katie also still remember 15 years ago, was very young. It's really cute to see because she's still very much a tomboy. She had kind of a Julie Andrews thing going on. Kind of that Victor Victoria thing. An audience of millions didn't stop her from making some bold choices. I don't know if I would say Katie is afraid of color. Katie was never afraid of color. Blinded by the light. But after looking back at all these 15 years, I wish she had been a little bit. No one can accuse Katie of being intimidated by change. She's really done just about everything you can do as far as a do goes. Do I still qualify as a brunette? Uh, not really, no. Really? No. Sort of well, okay. you're back and forth. Really? Yeah, okay, thank you very much. And also, yeah. you think This half of your head, yes, <laughs> this half of your head, no. Her head was like a mood ring. <laughs> it changed colors so often. When it's time to change. She definitely had a lot of looks, a lot of different haircuts, you know, from short to long to long to short. She had them all. There was definitely that Pat Benatar vibe. And then she did like that Go-Go's, our lips are sealed look. <laughs> look at Katie. But we all watched in awe when she hit her style stride. Katie really started to come into her own. Katie became a hottie. I look at Katie and I think of her now as the Angelina Jolie of news. Despite a little lighthearted ribbing, both say Katie has a great look. Katie has an amazing sense of style. She's definitely been not only uh, following the trends, but kind of a trendsetter as well. And everything it takes to deliver the news with style and substance. You're beautiful. Above the outfits, above the hair, above everything, is the charm, the warmth, and the intelligence. She's special. Congratulations. We're sorry to see you go. I wish you all the best in your future ventures. Katie, no matter what you wear, I'll be watching you and loving you for at least another 15 years. You're beautiful, it's true. Wow. Kind of a little 
little Zoolander moment there at the end. Uh, I just don't that. understand. First of all, thank you for being so kind, seriously. Oh, no. But second of all, why you guys didn't stop me? <laughs> I'm serious. We tried. Why wasn't there someone saying, no, don't. You can't go out like that. I don't think it would have mattered. But, but you know, the sad thing is we'll probably look back on the way we look now in 15 years all, and say, what were we thinking, it's right? It's trends. There was, we, I looked at every damn thing you wore. <laughs> there was a period we all wore buttons the size of plates. Yeah. That's true. And, it was very and cheap. earrings the size and of plates, too. Yeah. So it was just what happened. But that jacket, you're totally right. It was picnic blanket or Italian bistro tablecloth. <laughs> I always thought that they, I should show up with a bottle of Chianti on my shoulder, you know? It really hot. represented the time, right? It, it still Absolutely. does. Yeah. Also, about all of as hot as ever. <laughs> Anyway. But it still grew, and also we watched you grow up. Yeah, grow older. <laughs> <laughs> we never say that. I, I've, had, okay. I've had more requests for your haircut over the years than Madonna. So really? Yeah, there absolutely, you go. everybody. Well, not my old haircut, right? Uh, that too. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, thank you all so oh, much. And Brian Balthazar, put that together. Thank you, Brian. Okay, enough already. <laughs> Burn those tapes, Joe Michaels. Get rid of those. <laughs> they will live forever here. You anyway. know the one that didn't make the, tip, the tape, by the way? Is the one we went to the White House? for a big gala. Oh, yeah, and I slicked, slicked it, all it all back. back. Oh, yeah. That one, can we dig that one up in a second? No, that's okay. <laughs> Let's not say we did, but and yes. I counted you wore actually 3,421 different outfits. You're kidding. I swear. Wow. I had they made you do that? No, I, I got a nice. college student who thought it was showbiz. <laughs> I have no money for the desk. So the good news is behind this news desk, you don't have to show all the whole outfit. That's yeah. true. jeans underneath. That's and true. You only have to shave your legs on weekends. We're going to be great back job. right after these messages in your local news. Thanks, Joe and Jonathan. Thank nice you, guys. Day. Thank you all. Are you a scraper? Are you a banger? Or just a digger? Until you shout. Do you shake it? Till you can't take it. It's so hard to get the mayo out. Introducing Hellman's Easy Out, the new nonstick, no waste bottle designed to get every last bit of mayo out. You can get it out with Hellman's Easy Out. You can bring out all the best. Rubbermaid can make over your kitchen in 10 seconds. Because new Rubbermaid collapsible containers fold flat to save you space here and here. Try the new collapsible food containers from Rubbermaid. Introducing our latest breakthrough in long-wearing makeup. New Color Stay Makeup from Revlon, now with SoftFlex. Our new patented formula is flexible, feels so soft and lightweight, you'll forget you're wearing it. Looks flawless for 16 hours. You'll think it's the best long-wearing makeup you've ever worn. Guaranteed or your money back. It's a beautiful thing. New Color Stay Makeup with SoftFlex from Revlon. Try it, you'll see. Tim, I wanted to talk with you about my home equity loan. Oh, sure, Karen. I, um, I'm going with Lending Tree instead. Karen, please, how could you choose Lending Tree over us? Well, at Lending Tree, I get all the terms up front, so I know there will be no surprises at closing. It makes me feel like they're really looking out for me. But, Karen, you work here. Yeah. Awkward, isn't it? Join the 18 million people getting a better loan at LendingTree. When banks compete, you win. One hot summer morning. Mm. The townspeople awoke to discover drifts of delicious Splenda no-calorie sweetener, offering refreshing relief from the heat. Splenda tastes like sugar because it's made from sugar. So it adds just the right touch of sweetness to your favorite beverages but without all the calories to spoil the joy. That's the magic of Splendaville. For every drop of yourself you give, get every drop back. We offer over 80 ways to hydrate, energize, nourish, relax, or enjoy every drop of life. My customers come to me because I care. I take more time to know not just their name, not just that they're getting the medication, but I try to find out, are you okay? Is everything going on? Can I help you with something? It's more than just medicine, being a pharmacist. I work the late night shift, and I get probably more calls from people who, in the middle of the night, can't get to the hospital, can't call their doctor, and to know they have someone there to be of assistance to them and answer their questions is awesome. 
My name is Yoshima Thomas, and I'm a CVS pharmacist. Tonight, Rita taps into the supernatural and goes inside the real-life world of psychic investigators. Rita Cosby, live and direct, MSNBC Tonight. Tomorrow on Today, it's summer and we're outside on the plaza every day. Kicking things off, American Idol's Taylor Hicks and Catherine McPhee, together live in concert. Then Friday, country superstar Brad Paisley. Great music, good times, summer on the plaza. Only on Today on NBC. One, two, three, Elmo, come and play with me. Welcome to Elmo's World at Sesame Place, our biggest land ever, with three, three. all-new rides. Yes, I It's all part of the furry fun at Sesame Place. The only place where Sesame Street comes to life. With Elmo's Emmy two-day ticket, get two days of fun for the price of one to create your perfect getaway. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York. Mm, traffic moving well across the Brooklyn Bridge at 927. A very warm 71 degrees on this Wednesday, May 31st. I'm Carolyn Gussoff. Today, New York's highest court takes up the issue of same-sex marriage. The Court of Appeals will hear arguments on behalf of same-sex couples who were denied marriage licenses. They will argue that denying gays and lesbians the right to marry violates the state constitution. A ruling is expected in a few weeks. And a political battle is brewing on Long Island today as Republicans hold their state convention. Former Massachusetts Governor William Weld and former Assembly Minority Leader John Faso are battling for governor. Neither appears to have a clear edge. There's also no clear U.S. Senate candidate. Outgoing, outgoing Governor George Pataki will talk to the crowd this afternoon. And Attorney General Elliot Spitzer was declared the nominee for governor at the Democratic convention in Buffalo Tuesday. He out polled Nassau executive Tom Swazi overwhelmingly. But Swazi is promising to wage a primary battle. Regardless, Spitzer pushed on, indirectly criticizing Governor Pataki's 12-year record. Ours is not a crisis of ideas. It's not a crisis of talent or resources or even solutions. Because as New Yorkers, there is no problem we cannot solve. Ours is a crisis of leadership. I've knocked on doors, I've talked to people who come to the door crying because they can't afford to live here anymore. They can't afford to pay their property taxes. In a surprising show of unity, Democrats gave strong support to Andrew Cuomo's bid for attorney general. And now a quick check of your forecast for today. A nice day, a mix of sunshine and clouds, hazy, hot and humid, high 79 degrees for tonight, partly cloudy and humid, low 67. And tomorrow on Today in New York, a new trend in banking, branches that look and feel more like coffee houses. And coming up, Katie Couric's last half hour. Do you suffer from severe premenstrual symptoms every month? If so, it could be more serious than just typical PMS. If you experience severe emotional or physical distress prior to menstruation, you may be eligible to participate in a research study being conducted in our area to evaluate an investigational medicine for severe PMS symptoms at no cost to you. See our website at www.womenshealthtrials.com or call 1-888-561-3939. Tomorrow on Today, it's summer and we're outside on the plaza with American Idol's Taylor Hicks and Catherine McPhee together live in concert on Today on NBC. for the final half hour of today on this Wednesday morning, last day of May, and we're about to bid a fond farewell to the lady whose name is on that sign right there, Katie. Just 30 more minutes. I know, God. <laughs> oh, we mean that in the best possible way. Actually, we're going to do four hours. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside the studio, like I'm Matt Lauer along with like Katie eight. Kirk and Ann Curry and Al Roker and Natalie Morales, and look who has come in. I'm telling you, I haven't been so sad since Coupla, Fran, and Ollie went off the <laughs> Willard Scott and Gene Shallot, guys, yeah, it wouldn't be a party without you. It's so great to, yeah, first you. of all, we haven't seen you enough. We miss you in Thank person. You. I miss you in and person. on TV. I miss you on TV. Yeah. I miss me on TV. Yeah. <laughs> they don't miss you on TV. Hey, I got a surprise for you, though. This is going to really make your day. 
I'm going with you to You're... CBS. <laughs> the amazing thing is, the only guy whose hair hasn't changed is Gene Shepard. <laughs> so, Wig, you knew that. Anyways. You wanted to say a little something to, to Miss Katie? I wanted to say I'm going to miss you like I've never missed anybody in my life. Oh, stop. You have been wonderful for 15 years to me. You've made my life good. And I hope I've done a little bit of something to Are make you your kidding? life go. I love you, Gene. Are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you. I got one little one. Thanks for the memory, for getting up at four, for your audience you adore. You may have been a headache. Police are coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> but you never were a bore. Thank you very much. Oh, no, you bravo. Don't. Thanks, Willard. Getting up at four? <laughs> what what, 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 runs, what runs with five? <laughs> exactly. All right, guys. Nice to have you all here. More surprises ahead, and including cast of the Jersey Boys from Broadway. They're going to oh, sing boy. a song for you with a special surprise at the end of that. It's just multiplying the surprises wow, here. But before we get to that, how about another check of the weather? All right, let's take a look, show you what's going on. You have to be the buzzkill today. That's, that's me, Mr. Buzzkill. I started to do the weather when they said, let's take a look at the weather. <laughs> you want to do it. What the heck? You, you Anybody can do it if we do it. <laughs> that's it, exactly. There it is. Partly cloudy today in the northeastern. <laughs> I learned from the best. That's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your That's a lousy, lousy. What a team. All right. Hazy sunshine out there. Temperatures cracking the 70 degree mark as we speak. We're in the low 70s right now. 71 in the park. 72 in Morristown. 60s through the Hudson Valley. Notice it's cooler out east. That easterly wind expected to keep the temperatures down. But hazy sun and clouds for today. High temperature closing in on 80. Warmer inland, cooler along the coast. Showers and thunderstorms likely late in the day tomorrow. Widespread showers and storms on Friday, 73. Early showers Saturday, 75. And some clearing late. More sunshine, though, comes Sunday. Uh, that's your, oh, wait, we got into it. <laughs> that's your latest one. That sounds like the final episode of MASH all of a sudden, doesn't it? Where's Klinger? Yeah, exactly. It's CBS. You're a day early for you. Hey, by, by the way, if you would orient yourselves to your right for a second, can we just recognize also I don't the Scotto him. family from New York, John, Rosanna, and Elena, and Mary, and oh, Anthony. Oh, 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 oh. And they are going to be catering the big shindig that we're going to have after the show today. And they've just been great friends, Katie, and I know not only to you, but to the whole show. They're really like family. I love, love you guys. We wish you well. Katie, yes. we're serving all your favorite foods. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of food, Marianne. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for everything, all your love and support through the years. Thank you. They're Good great, fun. great people. Thanks. And we'll be back with a couple of last minute surprises right after these messages. <laughs> so cute. Attention, diet drinkers. This is sweet grass. It's healthy, but it tastes, tastes like grass. This is a diet soda. It tastes pretty good, but this is new diet ocean spray. It's good for you. It tastes great with real fruit juice and only five little calories. So, yeah, so it's better for you than diet soda and way better tasting than your lawn, which you shouldn't eat. Try diet ocean spray. Real fruit flavor, five little calories. Could you bring me the season? Pour réfléchir. Pour une rendre très bien. Ah! Garçon, qu'est-ce que ça veut dire? I wonder where the clog went. New liquid plumber power jet. Blast clogs away in three seconds. Hey, Ted. See you next week. Yeah, see you, buddy. Bye, Ted. Did you pick up the mail for us? Yeah, okay. Have a great weekend, buddy. Looks like everyone's going away this summer. Thanks to the Hotels.com Great Summer Getaway. Our experts have found amazing deals in places like New York, Orlando, San Francisco, and more. So log on or call now. Hotels.com. We know hotels inside and out. Hey, try one of these new 100 calorie packs. It's chips. Yeah, but I bet you get what, three chips in this pack? No, you get this many. Hey. Hey. Wow. All this for 100 calories? These are good. New Ritz Chips 100 Calorie Packs from Nabisco. Can you choose to be inspired? Or does inspiration choose you? Inspiration can't be summoned. It's all around us. Just waiting to be recognized. Inspired by Summer. Designed by Ethan Allen. Discover how our free design service will inspire you. 
So little birdie told me one of your favorite Broadway shows is Jersey Boys. Well, hello. Exactly. Can you see why? Featuring the music of Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons. And these guys, after some very creative juggling and writing, have changed one of the songs in the show. And here they are with a special rendition of Bye Bye Baby. Okay. Guys, take it away. Coast and coast your fans all feel this way. Can't put it off any longer. Cause today is your last today. Jersey Boys right after these messages. At what point does a car do more than take you from point A to point B? When does it come to life? When does it become your co-conspirator? When does a car become more than just a car? Introducing the all-new 268-horsepower Toyota Camry. It's time to move forward. The Cordade Challenge? To bring you superior itch relief. New Cordade Advanced. It's the longest-lasting hydrocortisone cream you can get without a prescription. It works for 12 hours. New Cordade Advanced. Science applied to your skin. For those who love cashews, there's new Platters Cashew Lovers Mix. 50% cashews, 100% love. There are so many aches and pains that keep you from getting a full night's sleep. But starting tonight, there's a new PM that has them covered. Introducing new Advil PM, the first and only PM with Advil. Now get multi-pain relieving power plus a non-habit forming sleep aid to gently ease you to sleep. Nothing's proven better on tough nighttime pain. When aches and pains keep you up, there's new Advil PM. Stop hurting and start sleeping. Hi, Katie. Hi, Matt. How nice are you? Nice you. to it's see you. It's been a ya. pleasure. One of your favorite composers, Mark Shaman, who won a Grammy and a Tony for his score for Hairspray. Right. Well, he's done something special. He's written a special song for you, and here to perform it are the cast of the Jersey Boys. And are they not the cutest guys? Really, seriously. And Hello. And speaking of cute guys, <laughs> how about also Harvey Firestein? Oh, Harvey. Oh, there he is. There he so is. Thin. Well, yeah. <laughs> We're singing for you. We have to sing for you. Well, let's do it. Go. Do it. Do it. I love you, baby. Only for you. <laughs> Nothing could be 
you shady when you start your day with Katie in the morning. Who else could take pasta cheese and show a colonoscopy while yawning? Her feelings were no mystery. That was her success. Now she is making history. But over at CBS, she may die a toy or an agent and a lawyer every morning. Smart never falters at the age of Barbara Walters. How we're falling. And when it came to Broadway, well, the lady had found one ray from her. And you would sell out all nothing. Could be shady when you start your day with. lullaby from another denizen of Broadway, Mr. Harvey Firestein. rock a by my Katie with a bedtime lullaby. Go to sleep. Go count sheep. Give that son the fish high. For 15 years you've roused us up. What is it in that coffee cup. I've watched you through my shower. You're dreaming how I'd like to scrub Matt Lauer. Next sleep till noon, I can Give a midday brunch a try. Stay out late. Go on a date. It's time for you to fly. Tomorrow morning while the crew's here prepping. You're laughing cause you're done with pre dawn schlepping. Rock of I, I rock of I, Katie, with a bedtime lullaby. It's a key change. Set your alarm clock to a decent hour. But how I'd love to wake that cute night lower. Rock of I, I rock of I, Katie, I just say one last goodbye. Come on, boys. You've got us so weeping now. This dawning. We knew this day was coming, now it's time for goodbye. Stiff up a lip. Big girls don't cry, let us hug and kiss her. We're surely gonna miss her in the morning. Thank you. Thank you, guys. How's that for subtle, Katie? Huh? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna give you a final farewell, Harvey. Guys, thank you so much. That, that was, was great. That was so cute, and Mark Shaman. Mark I know Shaman you couldn't be that. here, but thank you so much. You're so clever, and I love the Matt Lauer shower line, especially. Didn't you, Matt? Yeah. We're <laughs> Harvey and I are gonna snuggle right after the show. <laughs> We're going to be back with a little bit more on a Wednesday morning as we say goodbye. But first, this is today on NBC. Pierce Brosnan, once a fire eater. How do you jump to fire eating? There was lovely girls in there. They, they were topless, actually. So I thought I'd go in and... I see. Plus, supermodel Heidi Klum. Next, Ellen. Today at 10, only on NBC4. VH1 Classic presents two of the greatest bands of their era playing nothing but hits. The New Cars and Blondie, together, live. The event you don't want to miss. Two incredible New York area shows. Get ready for Blondie. And the new cars. Tickets are on sale now. Online at LiveNation.com or through Ticketmaster.
Carvel. Fresh cakes, fresh waffle cones, fresh made ice cream, fresh ice cream treats made fresh every day at Carvel. For birthdays, for holidays, for anniversaries, for special occasions, for dessert, for families. At Carvel, families love our creamy ice cream creations. For us, making families smile is, well, a piece of cake. Forget the tie. This Father's Day, bring home a delicious Snickers ice cream cake or Fudgy the Whale from Carvel. It's what happy tastes like. Well, I'm excited because I know we offer more than anyone else. We have over 20,000 different styles. We know price is not going to be an issue. We have four price points in every category. It makes it easier for the customers. We offer lifetime warranty, and that's not limited in any way. Lines to Go has the lowest price guarantee. If a customer finds a lower price, we'll pay them double the difference. They told me they loved the lines, and I felt really good. At Blinds to Go, people make all the difference. 20 locations in the tri state area. Call 800 Blind 7. Next, Martha, Jason Biggs, Paul Walker, and Max. Aww. Two All American boys attempt an All American feat. Now, this is when I start losing it. Why don't you look at the one that I made? <laughs> Next, Martha. Today at 11, only on NBC4. Only you could almost be late for your own goodbye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I rushed across the street. Before we say farewell, the staff of the Today Show just wanted to send you a little message. Take a look. Memories matter. They are who we are. And Katie, you've made a million of those memories for all of us. In sports, they say, you know, big players play big and big games. And for us, uh, Katrina was about as big as it gets and uh, she was remarkable. It was 2004 at the Democratic Convention in Boston and we were standing outside, it had just rained, and we heard that John Kerry and John Edwards were gonna be coming by. So what did Katie do? She kicked off her shoes, ran through the mud and grabbed them. She got the exclusive interview. I appreciate it. I know, well you know what, I had to jump around to try to grab you guys. As a producer, it's just incredible to watch her in action. She could be having her hair blow dried, makeup applied, changing her clothes, and getting briefed for an interview with the President of the United States. And somehow she retains all that information in a matter of three minutes. She's the girl who borrows your notes in school and does better on the test than you do. You never know what's gonna happen with Katie when she's on the shoot. Sometimes behind the scenes there can be a lot of mayhem. And I was producing a shoot once where everyone was fighting. And as soon as Katie walked in the room, Everybody just smiled. She always kept you on your game. What I love about Katie is that she treats everyone like they're her next door neighbor. She likes to share. Um, if you're wearing a scarf that she likes, she wants to wear that outside. What I think people should know about Katie, the behind the scenes Katie, is that she's very funny. She's just as fun on camera as she is off. Personally, I'm gonna miss seeing her every single morning. It was like an you know, emotional connection. So we have this really wonderful relationship and, and that's the stuff I'll remember really well. Hey Katie, for the last few years I've had the opportunity to work with one of the best who's ever sat in that seat. And for that, I will be forever grateful. Good luck, Katie, bye. Katie, goodbye and good luck. We'll miss you and good luck. Miss you, bye bye. Good, good luck, luck, Katie. You've been a first class friend and colleague. I'll really miss you. Thank you, Katie, love ya. Be happy, Katie. It won't be the same without you. Katie, it's been a great run. Good luck, Katie, from your graphics team. Bye, Katie. And here we are on the steps in Rockefeller Plaza. We've been joined by our entire New York staff here uh, on the I steps. Just, can I just walk down and look at everybody? Sure, go yeah. ahead. Also, as you look, though, Katie, I want you to know that we're also being joined via satellite from the people at our bureaus in Los Angeles, oh, in Washington, D.C., <laughs> they have a Goodbye, Katie. in Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. Pando, Joe Pando. Right there. there they are. In London. Oh, and all the people in our control room downstairs, Katie. Oh, hi, everybody. And all thank preparing you to so say much. goodbye. Can I also say, what do you get for the girl who has everything? I want you to just look over here and see what Martin Saar, a very talented artist, has done with 335 pictures uh -oh. of the people you have worked with over the years here at NBC. A, a collage or a mosaic, if you will, with all of their faces, all of them wishing you well. Uh -oh. And if you look just to your right, Melting slightly is a cake by the one and only David Carmichael. 
that we can all cut up and, Oceana, and share in a right? second. Exactly. Oh, thank you all so, so much for everything. Come on back over here. Everything. Because for the last couple of weeks now, we've been talking about your impact on television and morning news. And we want to end this morning by talking just about your impact on our lives and the fact that you've been a great colleague and more importantly, a terrific friend. And you're going to go on to great heights. We know that. I hope you know that we're all going to be wishing you well even if quietly, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we wish you the best in every single aspect of your life. We love you and we're going to miss you. Thank Cheers. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. I couldn't ask for a nicer, more wonderful send-off. So thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Taylor Hicks and Catherine McPhee together live in concert. Then Friday, country superstar Brad Paisley. Great music, good times, summer on the plaza. Only on Today on NBC. Tonight, nine months after Katrina, join Brian Williams live from New Orleans. The new hurricane season is here. Is the region ready for it? NBC Nightly News tonight. Dateline Wednesday to catch a predator. We're targeting the creeps who target your kids. It's the show everybody's talking about. NBC Tonight at an early time, 8, 7 central. Everywhere you look, you'll find more reasons to get the Optimum Triple Play. Three great services, each just $29.95 a month for a year when you get all three together. IO Digital Cable Service, over 170 channels, the most New York sports in HD with the sharpest picture anywhere and access to your favorite movies and shows on demand. $29.95 a month. Optimum Online. Faster, easier, and more reliable than DSL and dial-up. $29.95 a month. And Optimum Voice. Unlimited calling in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico. And 13 free calling features. Just $29.95 a month. Three great Optimum services, each just $29.95 a month. Total savings, over $500. For the best deal in town, it's Optimum or it's not. Call 1-866-9-OPTIMUM. Only from Cablevision. This leather sofa and loveseat is untouchable. The sofa's 85 inches long. And there's no make-believe leather. It's the real thing. With three tables, it ought to be $14.99. Plus lamps, it should be $15.99. In the hoity-toity stores, it could be $19.99. I gotta do what I gotta do. 
All seven pieces, only $12.99. It's a competition cruncher. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do. You're watching NBC for New York. And now, this is News Channel 4, Today in New York. A live look at Rockefeller Plaza at 956, a warm 71 degrees on this Wednesday, May 31st. I'm Carolyn Gussoff. This morning, investigators are trying to determine the cause of a freight train derailment in Patterson. Eight cars from a 70-car freight train left the tracks and leveled a car wash last night. No one was injured, but the accident crushed a gas main. This led to the evacuation of about 75 families. All of them have now been allowed back into their homes. The tracks are used only for freight trains, so NJ Transit Service is not affected. And starting tomorrow, many New Jersey boaters will need a license to take their vessels out on the water. Boaters born in 1969 or later will be required to have a new safety license. By 2009, everyone must take a boating class or pass a certification test to prove they can operate a vessel safely. Connecticut has a similar regulation, while New York only requires licenses for personal watercraft operators and boat drivers under the age of 18. Well, another nice day on tap. Here's Chris. Water may be the place to be. Out east, it is a bit cooler, though. Notice Montauk only 57, 62 at Islip. While we're into the 70s already across much of New Jersey, that'll be the line delineating the real warmth to the west, to the cooler air to the east because of an onshore flow. There could be a pop-up shower thunderstorm, though. Best chance for that would be very late this afternoon toward evening and north and west of the city. Kind of a muggy night tonight, but a better chance tomorrow for showers and storms by the end of the day into tomorrow night. And expect once that rain threat moves in to stick around through Friday and evening.